So yeah, we're gonna play uh, some Devil May Cry, man, on Saturdays. I don't know. Holy shit, that game's loud. Turn it down a little bit here. Maybe. Oh, I don't know. Something like that-ish, maybe. Hold on, I need to change one other thing, too. Sound. Settings. But anyways, yeah, as I was saying, <laughs> it's not a super long game. It's one that I've really been wanting to play anyways. And uh, I want to... Like, I thought about maybe doing a Final Fantasy or something like that as well. But uh, the fact that this one here is so much shorter is kind of what actually led to me choosing it as the one to do. Um, because, yeah, it's just, it, it's so much shorter than Final Fantasy games and shit like that. And I want to do Resident Evil 3 here soon. Um, my brother, who I used to do a podcast with, though we haven't done one in quite a while, he actually got a hold of me the other day and uh, was telling me that he wants to do Resident Evil 3 for the podcast, and it just kind of worked out perfect timing because, you know, I was thinking of playing... Resident Evil 3 on stream anyways, so yeah. <laughs> um, so yeah, so we're, we're going to finish DMC uh, hopefully within a uh, two weeks is what I'm thinking it'll probably take. Not not this week, but next Saturday it'll probably be finishing up according to how long to beat. So as long as we don't get stuck on, on any particular thing for too long. And then we can hop into Resident Evil 3, spend a couple weeks on that, and then, yeah, maybe maybe I'll do yet another podcast. <laughs> uh, speaking of podcasts, for anybody that isn't aware, we do do the podcast, myself and the Dorseman do the Just One More Level podcast on Sunday night. So if you're watching this live, that'll be tomorrow night. We will be talking about, at the very least, uh, Spider-Man. Nope, nope, we already talked about Spider-Man. Jack and Daxter. I know that's one that we talked about doing. I feel like there was another one. Maybe... Jack and Daxter, maybe it was Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. Maybe that was the other one. I can't remember. But I'm, I think it was those two. I'd say possibly three Saturdays, accounting for mistakes. I mean, maybe. I'm hoping it won't take that long, but I guess we'll see. Hey, Noodle. Happy to see you here, love. Um... Okay, so, if I remember correctly, we were, yeah, we got stuck on this boss for quite a while. <laughs> I hardly remember how the controls work at this point, so we're gonna have to, uh, reacquaint ourselves with that, but... Uh, okay, so triangle is jump, circle is sword L1, nope, R1, nope. Uh, okay, that's a map. <laughs> R2 is taunt. There, there was some way. I don't remember how. But there was some way. Uh, oh, square. Nope. Is it R1 and square? R1 and square. There it is. Okay. Let's say, I knew there was some way of using the, the gun at any time. <laughs> I couldn't remember what the hell it was. It's been, it's been like, uh, what, a week or two since we played this? So I use the Pride of Lion, yes. Uh, and if I remember correctly, this dude is going to, like, instantly come at us. Whenever, uh, he comes alive. So we kind of need to, kind of need to just dodge the hell out of the way. Do we have a dodge roll? I don't remember that either. Uh, just shoot his ass. I, I feel like we have a dodge roll, don't we? Oh, no. <laughs> Bruh, I can't remember, like, at all. There's gotta be... Uh, no, don't taunt him. Don't be a dumbass. Oh, well, okay, now we're in god mode, so might as well just freaking hit him for a minute. Okay, well, that lasted long. <laughs> Bro, we are gonna die already. Hold up. Isn't there a dodge, or can we only run and jump? So, circle is attack. Square does nothing. X does nothing. 
If we have our gun out, square shoots, X shoots, circle, okay. So we have to be holding R1 and then we can press triangle. All right, so on that note, uh, is there like a load screen? <laughs> Reset, there we go. Quick game and return to title screen. Yeah, yeah, for sure, because. <laughs> All right, so we have to be aiming and then we can use triangle to dodge, that's fine. We were we were using that as a learning experience. We, we had to de-rust to get back into it a little bit, figure out what the hell we were doing. You're hyped for us all to do uh, Jack and Daxter. Me too, to be honest. I, I'm hoping Dorseman likes it as much as I do. Uh, I will say, little spoiler, going back and playing the PS2 version after playing the PS3 or 4 version, whichever one it was that I played previously, uh, makes it clear that they're... they're well, I guess just that the, the HD version is that much better. Like, <laughs> still a great game, obviously, but yeah. The HD version is uh, significantly better. In, t in terms of, like, frame rate and smoothness and all that stuff. It's one of those games you can constantly watch being played growing up. We would all take turns. Yeah, yeah, I mean, we've been there, man. Me and my older brother and whatnot. Yep. Although, I feel like he liked the... Uh, the later Jack games better than Jack 1 and, and at least as of now it could change once I actually finish Jack 2 and 3 but as of now at least Jack uh, Jack 1's my favorite for sure okay so we should know better than to freaking <laughs> try and hit this thing with our sword it just doesn't work we should know that already like to be honest with you Just freaking shoot it, and then now we can hit it with a sword. <laughs> Maybe. Although, I didn't realize it was still going to freaking uh, hit us with those those floor things. Ah, bro. Fuck off, you demon dog. <laughs> uh, do we gotta hit it with our sword? I feel like we kind of gotta hit it with our sword. Oh, well, we're dead. <laughs> Man, the last time we were playing this, we had this part down so easy. And now look at us. Like, we are getting our asses handed to us, man. Try again? I mean, I don't really have a choice. We're kind of forced to, as far as I can tell. Sorry, we just got to de-rust a little bit, get back into it. And then we'll, uh, we'll get it figured out. No problem. No problem, man. Yeah, if we if we do get stuck on any part for too too long, uh, we will turn the difficulty down to easy or whatever. But uh, I'm hoping it doesn't come to that. Like, that's not how I like to play games. <laughs> I just don't want to keep the stream on the same part for an hour though. <laughs> that's a, that's my only problem with it. Like, if I was playing this on my own time, I would either have it on normal or hard for sure until it was complete. But Gotta think about the stream. Ah, you dick. You know what I do kind of want to do? I want to switch the weapon uh, to the handgun. Hey, thank you for the bits, Noodle. I appreciate it, love. Because uh, I feel like we get a little bit of better long-range shootage with Ebony and Ivory than we do with, with the shotgun. This dude is, uh, really freaking getting us, though, ain't he? Okay, well. <laughs> Apparently, dodging's not working too well for me today. Okay, we should be able to hopefully use the, the devil mode or whatever the hell it's called here to maybe get a little bit of health back. Nope. No such luck. But we got him down, at least. So we can continue on and get our asses handed to us to, uh, from this boss that I just can't seem to figure out for some reason. Jack 1 for the simplicity and more lightheartedness and 3 for the combat, story, and racing. There was a... Uh, there's some racing in 1, kind of, right? From what I remember, I feel like there's a little bit of racing in 1. It's not a, a focus by any means, but yeah. I just... I don't know. I like lighthearted games man like so many games try to be gritty and dark and whatnot and 
I mean, I love God of War. I'm playing DMC right now, and I, I obviously like this game, so, like, obviously I like dark, gritty games, but I just feel like every game tries to be a dark, gritty game, and, and not every game needs to be, <laughs> you know? Like, Jack was perfectly fine as a lighthearted uh, action platformer or 3D adventure platformer, whatever the hell you want to call it. And they didn't, they didn't need to switch it up, but... You know, again, I've never actually completed it, though, so my opinion on it may end up changing once I actually give it a, a fair shot. So we, we shall wait and see. Maybe I'll enjoy it more once I beat it. Two and three, I mean. Yeah, there was, but the racing in three was desert racing. It was fun. I mean, we'll probably end up finding out eventually together because, yeah... I don't see a world in which I don't end up playing through all of the Jack and Daxter games. I just, uh, I, I doubt that's going to happen, so. <laughs> Alright. Ready to get your asses handed to, or our, yep. <laughs> Are we ready to get our asses handed to us is what I was trying to say. Why can I not look at this thing? I just want to stab it. Put the sword through the statue, Dante. And as we know from last stream, there's a dude in the mirror. He's not our friend. And he kind of wants to murder us, and he most likely will, to be honest. Because, <laughs> yeah. I'm uh, apparently not all that good at this game. Also, I keep trying to use circle to jump, because using triangle to jump just feels weird as shit to me. Jack 3 is gritty, but they lean a little more back to lighthearted. Not exactly, but definitely more than 2. The racing right in the beginning, practically in 3. Yeah, I mean, like I said, I'm, I'm excited to try it out and uh, give it more of a fair chance, I guess. Right? Like I said, I, I played all of them, but I only ever beat, like, really gave a chance to... Jack one. Oh, how do we dodge that? Okay, the, when he comes at us with the sword, that's when we can get the big damage in. But like, okay, we got it that time. Uh, we didn't get the dodge that time. <laughs> we gotta, we gotta do this just to try to get some health from the dude, like. Yes, freaking shoot the hell out of him. Dodge, please. Thank you. All right, that's... Nope, nope. We're not going to be able to hit him if we if we run in now. We got to wait until we get a, a close-up dodge. And, I mean, I was going to say GG, but uh, I guess we're not technically dead yet. Do we have a heal? We have an amulet, a memento of Dante's mother in the back is an engraving. Uh, an ornament resembling a soul. It loses its power over time. So no, we don't have anything we can use. Okay. I think we're dead, guys. <laughs> ah, shit. Now he's going to go up here. This is, uh, this is kind of where we, we kept losing last time. Because, yeah, he, he would go up there and then... Like, I can go up there and hit him, but it's not its not a good look. Like, <laughs> But alright. We're going to try, I think, like two more times with him. Now that we're, we're back into it and know what we're doing. And then uh, if we still can't beat him within those two times, then we'll, we'll take the easy option. And, uh, well, go to easy mode. <laughs> Whatever we got to do, man. Uh, yeah, load up that save. Please and thank you. I believe in you. Thank you, Nate. That's what I need, man. About to do like uh, the Dragon Ball Z spear bomb thing. Put my hands up in the air. <laughs> need y'all to lend me your power. I should have bought a uh, healing item before we hopped in here this time. I wasn't thinking. I wonder, you should be able to actually kill that spider in this hallway, right? I wonder if anyone's done it. I'm sure someone has, actually. Like, pretty much guaranteed. Plus, isn't there, like, a new game mode? A new game plus mode or some shit? 
So with that, I would imagine, like, you get to keep some of your, your weapons and power-ups and whatnot, and then probably make the, the game a lot easier. And doing extra shit like that, like, uh, trying to kill that spider in the hallway. The second time the spider bro comes at you. Oh shit, we need to, uh, switch our gun to. Dodge first. Dodge and then switch gun. Nice, okay. Uh, da da da, weapon, please, handgun. Yep, equip that. Please and thank you. What, bruh? That was some bullshit. You did not hit me. Oh, that was close. The camera, the way the camera constantly moves around makes it a little hard to know which way to dodge. <laughs> TBH. You have to do the old school trick and get in gamer position as close to the screen as possible. You uh, think I'm not already? <laughs> nah, sadly, I can't really do that when I'm streaming because I got the, the mic set up in front of my face. So I can only get so, so close. No old school gamer tricks here, man. Ah, uh, the freaking things that come out of the ground are killer. I should probably use that, that devil mode a little bit earlier to gain more more health back from that thing. But we have one revive. Or one one revive, retry, whatever you want to call it. So uh We're not we're not completely screwed if we if we die on the boss. Again. What I think I will actually do though to help out just a little bit is change my input over from OBS to uh to just like the game screen it cuts down on lag it's only a couple frames of lag but it can help in some situations no idea if it's really gonna help in this this situation or not but uh <laughs> it won't hurt either though being able to get feedback just just a wee bit quick quicker you know the only downside is uh makes it a little bit harder for me to see chat because I actually have to, like, turn my head and look at it instead of just having it on screen. Which, oh no, woe is me, I know, but... <laughs> Alright, grab the sword again. Are the newer DMC games still uh, mission-based like this? Or did they go more, like, open world with checkpoints? So honestly, I think, like, open world with checkpoints would make more more sense personally I'm still a little confused on why they did it the way they did in this game to be honest with you but it works though so I'm not gonna complain it would just be easier if there was like a, a checkpoint right outside that boss instead of me having to do the whole mission over again every time I freaking die to it <laughs> It's a statue. There's an opening. Shall I use the death sentence? Yes. Stab the statue, please. Got the melancholy soul that we still don't really know what the hell it's for. And die to the bombs. Let's go. Let's freaking go. <laughs> oh. Ah. Uh. No, we don't need to watch this. We can we can skip. I wonder if the the shotgun would be better on this dude than the than the ebony and ivory. I don't really know to be honest which one would be the the better option here. Oh, stop blocking you, dick! Come at me, bro! Not like that. <laughs> no, swing your sword at me. Yes, like that. Oh, you... No, you bitch. <laughs> hey, what's up, Rue? Just in time to watch us die to this uh, boss again. <laughs> uh, yep, see? Like I said. <laughs> Just in time to watch us die, man. Again. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Again. 
I can't figure out this boss for some reason. I don't know why I'm having so much trouble with it. But I feel like no matter what I do, I just cannot figure him out, dude. Come on. Fight me. Stop shooting your little blue balls at me and fight me. Yes, like that. Thank you. No, not like that. That kills me. <laughs> That's all right. We gotta we gotta retry stone. We retry. Uh, we got this. We got this, guys. Just gotta believe. Hope everything's going well for you today, Rue. It's nice to see you in the stream. Oh, Nate. I uh, was trying to ask you last night, but I think you may have been driving whenever I was asking you. Um. Have you watched Attack on Titan? If so, are you are you caught up to the to the latest season? I uh, I've been watching it. I watched the the specials with like all the side episodes for the different characters, and then uh, I'm I'm catching up on the the final season as much as I can. And uh, I just need someone to rant to about it. <laughs> I don't want to. I don't want to do it on stream too much though, because I don't want to give spoilers to anybody who may want to end up watching it. But uh, yeah, just curious for curiosity's sake, man, because uh, this season has been throwing me for a loop. That's for sure. No. Yes, please. Okay. So he's up there now. That's good. Stage two. Yeah, he's going to shoot his little blue balls at us. And I'm going to jump right into it, apparently. <laughs> All right. We just got to wait for him to stop for a moment. And then go. Okay. I said go. Oh, we dodged. Okay. Okay. Yep. We're dead. <laughs> Holy shit. That was too freaking close. Can I make this jump? I don't know if I can. Okay, I can. Does this do anything? No. Seems like not. Okay. Oh, my lord. He's so freaking tough. Like, <laughs> uh. And I hate being stuck, like, whenever I'm on stream, I just hate being stuck on the same section over and over again. We're gonna try one more time, though, before we, uh, before we move on to, to easy mode. Because <laughs> I'd rather not go to easy mode if I don't have to, but if we have to, we have to, you know. Anything to get past this stupid freaking boss. Oh, shit, I forgot to do upgrades again. I think there's a upgrade room around here somewhere. So after we fight the the little mini like halfway boss or whatever. Oh wait, no, 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 no. Okay, we're doing it here. We're doing it here. Perfect. There we go. Power up. Extras. Uh, not the Devil Star. Is it the Vital Star? Yeah, Vital Star. I want to save this shit, but like, a shield will surround the body, protecting you from any attack for a certain period. You will also be in a Devil Trigger state during this period. Like that. That sounds pretty decent. Uh, blue orb wouldn't be bad. Yellow orb gives us more retries, but, like, we can always just retry with the, you know, the normal <laughs> retry system. Uh, stinger level one, round trip we can't afford, air hike, double jump in the air. I mean, can't do that anyways. Air raid, become airborne, be capable of performing aerial electrocution attacks. Uh, vortex level one, damage enemies with an intense spinning body attack. Yeah, I don't know. Like, I want to unlock this shit. I feel like that'd be more useful, but I feel like we have to go for one of these, though. Holy Water. I doubt Holy Water will work on the boss, so we're either going to have to get the Vital Star or the Untouchable. Like, oh, hey, before I forget, the seller confirmed you do have a 4th Gen processor and that the other stats are the same besides, so they said I can keep my desktop. That's awesome, man. Hell yeah. So, basically, just got a free upgrade on your PC because they, they messed up. Like, <laughs> I'm all for that. Uh, oh, you can only hold one. That's shitty. I wish we had enough money to also buy that, but... 
Um, doo -doo -doo. Blue orb. Buy one of those. We don't have enough for another. We don't have enough for anything else, do we? Another purple orb, but eh, uh, fuck that. Alright, I mean, I don't think that's probably the best way of, uh, doing, doing our thing, but redeem sing mode, uh, so actually that was Noodle that, that redeemed that, not Nate. I wish neither of you would have, especially because, uh, I'm definitely gonna die to this boss now. There's no way I'm gonna be able to do this. Uh, but before I forget, let's go into settings here hold on hold on hold on stream uh yep 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 and then we go down to viewer rewards channel points rewards and challenges yep 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 hold on hold on sing mode here we go edit and <laughs> hmm let's uh that seems pretty decent huh ten thousand points now how about that <laughs> I hate you all. Sing mode. So what the hell? Now I gotta, I gotta pull up the the YouTube here, so I can find something. I can't even think of a song that I know that well to do. Like, uh, uh, we're about to go back to the days of ABCs, cause uh. <laughs> It's payback from forgetting my birthday earlier. I was put on the spot. We had to get COVID tests done today. And uh, the lady at the window was just like, okay, what's her birthday? And I was like, fuck. Uh, <laughs> so I was mixing it up with our anniversary. Like, that's all. Look, my memory is actual trash, guys. Everybody should know that by now. So, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P. Q R S D U V. <laughs> uh, you all suck. Can't you see? Ooh. Mmm. Mmm. Uh. Hold on. Got to figure out if I can remember. I used to listen to the hell out of some good Charlotte, but... We're together all that time he was taking her for granted since he that we've stayed smaller uh fuck i don't know if i could remember <laughs> girls don't like boys see typing on the phone now he doesn't want her out there and alone now Funny. He's well dressed. Got funny. And not much to say in most conversations. <laughs> uh, and most of, you know, I can't remember. It's been so long. Girls don't like boys. Girls like cars and money. <laughs> boys will laugh at girls when they're not funny. <laughs> Paper or plastic don't matter. She'll have it. <laughs> uh, I can't remember. I can't remember. <laughs> it's been so long. Girls don't like boys, girls like cars and money. Girls will laugh at girls when they're not funny. <laughs> and these girls like these boys, and these boys like these girls. The girls are the Ferraris, and boys win the Ferraris. Girls don't like boys, girls like cars and money. 
<laughs> uh, yep. Guitar stuff. My bloody Valentine. No song like boys, girls like cars and money. Boys gonna laugh at girls when they're not funny. The worst part is Good Charlotte was one of my favorite bands. Uh, when I was... <laughs> when I was growing up. I don't think I know any, uh... My Bloody Valentine, to be honest with you. Lifestyles of the Rich and Famous? Yeah, they are. Again, though, do I remember it? Probably not. Oh, yeah, no, I definitely don't remember, man. I'm gonna hurt you. <laughs> Inside the Rolling Stone, about how life can be. Mm. I'd like to see them spend a week living life out. Nah, man, I don't remember it. <laughs> how do you not know my bloody Valentine? I don't think I've ever heard them. Hold on, my bloody Valentine. I'll, uh, I'll pull up one of their bigger songs. Is there a song like that I should know by them? Uh, yeah, man, I don't know. I don't think I know him. Yeah, that doesn't sound familiar at all. Uh... What's a song? that I know. See, this is what happens. Again, I get put on the spot and then I just forget everything that I've ever known, man. Just like with your birthday. Like, that's... <laughs> I don't think I've ever listened to it. Yeah, no, no, no. Like, I know, uh... Oh, uh, shit. What's the, uh... What's the, the band that I'm thinking of? Valentine... Uh, da 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 da. Valentine. Oh man, what's the band that I'm thinking of? My Bloody Valentine. Like, the, their name made me think of it, but I can't. I can't think of the. Bullet for My Valentine. Yeah, I know Bullet for My Valentine. <laughs> I listened to them a fair bit growing up, but I, uh, yeah, I don't know. My bloody Valentine. Look, I was looking at my other screen trying to figure out what the hell I was thinking of. <laughs> Anyways, time's up. <laughs> I'm sorry I didn't know your songs today. It makes me want to listen to more Good Charlotte, though, because I did really like Good Charlotte growing up. Like I said, they were one of my favorite bands. I listened to them so freaking much, man, but it's been a long-ass time. I'm pretty sure I have one of their albums on vinyl. I don't remember which one, but... We were rocking out to it. Uh, oh shit, it must have been like months ago, but yeah. Cute is what we aim for? I don't think I ever listened to Cute is what we aim for. I mean, I've probably heard like one or two songs from the people I'm hanging, I hung out with listening to them. But uh, yeah, they weren't really uh, my kind of band. Good Charlotte, a little bit of Green Day, of course. Uh, I listened to a lot more rap when I was younger. Around that, that era, you know, of life. And then uh, I listened to a bit of metal. And then it slowly transitioned to more metal, less rap. I got the gift of one liner and you got the curse of curves. Yeah, see, like, I've heard that line before. But I think that's just because 
all of the people that I hung out with listened to them. Not so much that uh, I really remember ever listening to them myself. You listen to them all the time? Ex exactly. <laughs> That's why I know bits and pieces of it. But I don't, though. I don't, I don't think I know any of their songs off the top of my head. What's that other one? Uh, Death Cab for Cutie. There's that one. Again, I, I don't think I know any of their songs. What else was everybody obsessed with? All Time Low? Something like that? Was it All Time Low? Is that a, a really a really popular one? You like All Time Low? Noodle How Can Stream Suck This Much by Not Knowing Good Music? <laughs> I know a lot of these bands. I just didn't personally really listen to them growing up, you know? So with the exception of Good Charlotte, I did listen to, to Good Charlotte a lot. But, uh... Oh, Red Jumpsuit Apparatus? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't... I never, like, uh, had full albums by them or anything like that, but they had a few really good songs that I liked, you know? Uh, they're popular ones. Face down in the dirt. She said, this doesn't hurt. She said, I finally had enough. Yeah. Do you feel like a man when you push her around? <laughs> me and Noodle play fight all the time, and then that's what she'll start saying to me. Or singing to me, saying to me. A little bit of both, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, good music, good music. I like Red Jumpsuit Apparatus. They're good. They're good. Good stuff. I don't have a problem with Isle Time Low or anything like that, but, uh... I just never, uh... Like I said, really listen to him myself. Just kind of listen to him by association. Thank God that so you know that one, at least. Like I said, I've listened to Red Jumpsuit Apparatus. All of their popular songs, at least. I just never really uh, sat down and listened to, like, a whole album by them or anything. But I have absolutely zero issue with Dread Red Jumpsuit Apparatus. They're good. Good band. Makes good music. Also, we, uh, that didn't take long to get our ass kicked. Yes! Take my sword, you bitch! That is not a euphemism. <laughs> Uh, no, no blue ball. Mm, blue balls, her worst balls. Holy shit, how are we still alive? Uh, okay, I guess we have to use the Vitality Star. Yep. I'd rather you didn't, creepy demon guy. Why that time did he, like, keep trying to hit me? Where the other times, like, once I hit him once, he kind of stopped. I'm a little confused. Or, like, he'll go once and then stop. I'm sure there's some sort of pattern that he has. I just can't figure it out. And that's why uh, that's why I'm having such a hard time with this dude. Like, I, I can't figure him out no matter what I do. All right, shoot your, shoot your little blue ball at me there, bro. Thank you. Okay, yep, that's that was cool. Thanks, man. <laughs> uh, yep, we're dead. <laughs> uh, fuck me, dude. Use what we aim for is the same old Blood Rush with a new touch album is the best. Oh, <laughs> so many words there. It's very confused on what the hell you're talking about. The same old Blood Rush with a new touch is an album. By Cute is what we aim for. Got it. <laughs> you're bored with all your games again? I've been there, man. My problem these days is uh, I have like... Uh, what What's it called? Like when you just have too many choices so you can't pick anything. Um... Oh, I can't think of what it's called, but I have that, like, choice anxiety or something. I don't know. <laughs> That's why I make tools to pick things for me. Like, the, the games to play on stream, I make tools to randomly select one. Or, or for my Steam list, there's, there's tools to do that for you as well. Like, All right, so we are uh, sadly going to try to go down to easy mode. Isn't there a way? Do we have to go to options, maybe? 
Because, yeah, I don't want to be stuck on that same guy for literally ever. Um, I thought there was a way to change it. Normal. Okay, yep, yep. Devil trigger, cool. Alistair. Item map file, maybe? Mission. Enemy. Nope. I could have swore there was some way to change our difficulty mid-game. Is there not? Fuck, are we screwed? <laughs> okay, well I guess we have to try at least one more time, and then before I go straight back into the game, we'll, we'll see if there's a way to change your difficulty. Most of the regular enemies I'm not having that much trouble with, and then like this little mini boss, I was able to figure that out easy enough. But I cannot, for the life of me, figure out the freaking actual boss of this mission, man. Just doesn't happen. It can't happen. It's impossible, apparently. <laughs> I just need to watch a speed run on this game, get all those pro strats. Problem is, the pro strats are probably going to be just get good. Like, <laughs> don't freaking suck. Alright. Yeah, see, this dude, this dude's not too bad. Although, I would prefer to maybe pull out the other weapon. The, uh, the Ebony and Ivany. Ebony and Ivany? No. Ebony and Ivory? Holy shit. I hate the freaking <laughs> things that he pulls up out of the ground every time I try to go in for the hits on his on his orb, on his heart, whatever the hell you want to call it. Freaking Shadow Cat. Come at me, bro. Get wrecked. I'm really glad we don't have ammo for our guns, because <laughs> I'd really be screwed in that case. Alright, collect the collect the health and stuff, and let's go. Uh, maybe. Dante, jump up. Thank you. <laughs> Holy shit, dude. I know you're better than that, Dante. Just shotgun blast to the marionette's face. But they just keep coming. Die already. Uh, we gotta hit the thing. Where's the thing? There's the thing. Do, do, do. And yay, now we get to go up. You know, though, if we do keep doing this, the one benefit is I'm gonna be able to do this entire section besides the boss with my eyes closed eventually. Like. <laughs> bright side, you know. You haven't got a Bob alert, have you? I haven't heard him in a bit, and I don't feel like checking on him. No, he keeps this connect. Bob is our vacuum, for anybody that may be wondering, since uh, Noodle's just asking random ass things in chat. Uh, <laughs> um, our robot vacuum, to be specific. Anyways, no, he keeps disconnecting himself from the internet, so no alerts for him, sadly. He probably got stuck on something. We have all those uh, carpets laid out and the, uh, the like, little placemat carpet things in the kitchen. If I had to guess, he probably got tangled up in one of them because, you know, they're old and they don't really... They're not weighed down anymore. They don't stick to the floor too well. So as soon as the robot tries to go over top of them, they just, like, get bunched up into balls and then he gets stuck in them, like, half sucked up. It's a pain. <laughs> But yeah, I would guess that's probably where he's at, but I'm really not sure. Wait, you think you hear him? You haven't put your hearing aids in today, have you? I'm shaking my head at you. I know you can't see, but totally shaking my head. You took it out. Oh, you did actually have it in whenever we uh went to get the, the test done. The COVID test. Ah, bro. I wish I could see you right now. That would be helpful. Don't shoot your blue balls. Tired of your blue balls. No balls.
focusing. Ultra focus. Engage. <laughs> Oh, buddy. What? No, I was jumped over you, you bastard. Okay. Cool. Oh, so far, so good. We got over him. We've hardly taken any damage. I really wish that we had grabbed a Vitality power-up, but I planned on going to easy mode this time. So I didn't even think about it. Like... No, let me out, please. I wish we regained health whenever we hit with the sword in this mode. Oh, yes. Go, 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 go. What? What are you doing over there? <laughs> okay, so there's a, a yet another stage to this boss. Okay. Uh, I didn't even realize going up here was an option. How do I... Hold on. I'm kind of slow. Give me a moment. Oh, no, 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 no. Come on, we're so close. I can't see you. I can't see you. Shit. Oh, man, I really wish we're dead. Fuck. <laughs> I'm so mad right now. Bruh, we were so close. <laughs> if we had the green orb, we might have had it that time. I'm so mad at myself. I thought we were going to buy the, um, or I thought we were going to go to easy mode, so I didn't even think to buy a freaking vitality thing. Uh, Dude, okay, that's all right. We're getting, we're getting closer. Every, every, every time we play through, we get a little bit closer. So, when he doesn't lunge forward, he, uh... He, he does multiple attacks. When he lunges forward, it's only one. Like that. So then we can go in for for the... the. So like now he's going to walk around for a moment and we can go in for the hits. And then this is going to be multiple. So just shoot him in this case. Also, switch to Ebony and Ivory. We got more accuracy over range with that. Um, guns, handgun, equip, yes. We'll do much more damage with the with the sword in this mode, but we gain health back using ebony and ivory, and we need we need health. Like bad. Okay, we're done gaining health at this point. So he should be going up top. Okay. Who? Oh, one third of the way there. One third of the way there, and we have most of our health. So not too bad. Shoot shoot your blue ball at me, boy. Thank you. Okay. Oh, okay. Do something. No! Damn it. Oh, my lord. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, two-thirds. Two-thirds of the way there. We have a little less than half health, though, so <laughs> this isn't looking great. The close uh, quarters combat is significantly harder, I feel like. Oh, no. Bro. <laughs> Bro. I'm so angry. Those blue balls are killer. <laughs> Especially, like, from that angle. I'm just having trouble, like, uh, rolling instead of jumping up in the air. And it seems like he has a much easier time hitting us when we jump. Yeah, it doesn't look like... If we go back to the main menu, maybe... Warning, this game contains scenes of violence and gore. Options. Subtitles, controller. What's the type B? Shoot is always on the same one, so... Or not shoot, I meant jump. Monitor tuning, default settings, blah, 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 whatever. 
Okay, that's all the same. So we'll ignore that, I suppose. I don't think there's any way to change the difficulty mid mid game. We're gonna have to we're gonna have to just keep going, man. We'll try one more time. <laughs> Honestly, like at this point, I feel like uh we could just start a new game on easy mode and get through it faster than freaking trying to <laughs> keep killing this guy. You know what I mean? It's okay though. I believe in us. We we've made it to to stage three at this point. That's farther than we've ever made it before. So we're getting there. I'm gonna have to buy a a vitality orb though. Like I don't I don't have a choice. I have to I have to do something. Uh, we can only hold one though. Blue orb. Uh nah, I, I don't know. I just kinda wanna save my shit. If we could buy the untouchable, I'd probably get that, but nah. Okay, exit, let's go. If you get fail again, I say we do some Kahoot. I gotta get through this game sooner or later though, so like <laughs> uh, Although, uh, speaking of that, though, Wednesday, Wednesday afternoon, most likely, I will be having that community day. Um, tonight, I plan on fixing up Discord so that it'll be available to the public again. And, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then Wednesday, we'll be playing, you know, Kahoot, Cards Against Humanity, all that sort of shit. So, hopefully, you're available Wednesday afternoon, Rue. I don't know if Noodle will be or not. Probably not, yeah, as she's saying. But, uh, you know, if she is or maybe uh, if she's in the car, she won't be able to chat so much. But, like, you get off work at 4.30 your time. Uh, so it'd probably be a little bit later than that because it would be, like, 5 o'clock my time whenever I would start, 5, 6 o'clock. Uh, though I don't have anything... I might be able to push it back a little bit. So like 6.30 mime. I might be able to wait a little bit longer to start it up. And I'll probably, you know, sit and BS. It's just a, that's all the day's gonna be. It's just a day to, to BS and chat and play games with, with y'all, so. Uh, so yeah. Well, uh, maybe what I'll do is just, uh, I'll do something else to start with. And then we'll do, We'll do, uh, like, Kahoot and Cards Against Humanity and shit a little bit later. Maybe is what we'll do. Plus, that might give Noodle a chance to to get back home so that she can join the, the Kahoot fun. And holy shit, the Shadow Cat is kicking our ass this time, boy. i am be so mad if, like, I, I get that Vitality Star so that we can hopefully defeat the actual boss and then we die to the freaking Shadow Cat. Like, <laughs> uh, I can't... I can't, I'm so mad. Like, how are you killing me, you freaking cat? <laughs> Go to hell, cat. <laughs> Is he in red mode at least? I don't even think he's in the red mode yet, so we've hardly done any damage to him. Oh, this is annoying. You better die, please. Oh, shit, that was close. That was scary. <laughs> oh, okay. Still alive. Orb him. Orb. Don't get hit by the things. Okay, he's red. So all we gotta do is shoot the hell out of him a little bit. And dodge like freaking mad. Thank you, Jesus. Okay, he's dead. <laughs> Five for you is three for me, I think. Well, it's six o'clock here right now. So whatever time it is for you, I think you're two hours behind us. If I remember correctly. As long as you're not busy at work, I should be able to join. I'm not gonna... <laughs> I don't want you to get in trouble at work or anything. But uh, I know my, my... I don't know what my brother and everybody's doing on that day. But I do know he's been wanting to play some games like uh, Barotrauma, this cool like uh, submarine game and whatnot. So, like I said, if what I'll probably actually do is spend the first hour or two... Um, just doing whatever random junk with multiplayer, though, with other people. And then, uh, and then we'll do the Kahoot and stuff once uh, it's a little bit later and people have time to get home and, and get off work or whatever the case may be. What well, depends on if I'm even able to go to the appointment or not. Yeah, Noodle and I are waiting on some COVID test results, so <laughs> we'll see how that goes.
Okay, so we still got we still got our uh, full heal. That's good. And we got our yellow star too. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to kill the dude the first time without the heal or anything. And then if he kills us, we'll get the retry with the yellow star or whatever the hell it's called. And then on that one, we can use the, the green one. Because honestly, I, I feel like I should be able to just kill him, you know? Like, I believe in myself. I can do it. Holy shit, before we start the fight, though, we're going to have to run an ad break. I didn't realize it's been almost an hour since we've last ran an ad, at least. So, yeah, that's what we're actually going to do. And then when we come back from the ad, then we will be fighting this boss again. This boss that we spent a freaking hour on. <laughs> we'll be right back, guys. Control your own uh, group. Oh, crap. Did we get it? We got Braun. Barely, barely made it. I didn't think we were going to make it in there, man. That turning there at the end is uh, what saved us, I think. But, uh, yeah, they had modes where you would, like, have your own racing team and, and you would get points for other people doing stuff or whatever. Apparently, circle also is select. Or did I hit X like a dumbass? I don't know. Regardless, though, yeah, so I, I played the hell out of that game and I absolutely loved it. I would love to play more of it someday, but I, I've signed up for this service called Backlogged, or website, I guess, less than a service. And it helps you track your games and uh, and what you need to, what you've played and what you need to complete and all that. And I, I mentioned it to Nate the other night, I know. But as I was going through it, I realized that, like, I need to just not with some games. As much as I would love to play and complete some of these racing games, for instance, I just, I, I don't have the time. There's too many games that I want to complete let alone, you know, completing games on, on stream and everything else. So there were a handful of games that I that I like, that I enjoy playing on stream, that I, I've decided that unless it ends up being a four-stream thing, I'm just never going to complete them because I don't have the time, man, you know? And that's honestly the only way I'm ever going to get through all of my backlog of games is just realizing that, hey, some of these games I'm not going to complete, you know? I still want to play all of them, but I need to to accept that I'm just not going to be able to complete some of them. Um, yeah, no, we're going to try again. Another thing with uh, Gran Turismo games, you can't go off track too much. Because they don't like that. They get a little upset with you when you do. You're finally playing through Mass Effect 1. And dude, there was a racing game called Juiced on OG Xbox. One of your favorites. That and the OG Need for Speed. Well, Nate... <laughs> Uh, if it is, I mean, you can still join in on some of the games, you know, you can, uh, the ones that are available to be played on mobile, you might not be able to chat and discord with us while we're playing or whatever, but like, you're still welcome to join, of course, play some games, hang out with us all, nonetheless. I hate being sick, man. My head's been pounding all day. My cough hasn't been too too bad, but I've also been eating like mints all day to kind of keep my throat soothed. <laughs> uh, wait, is he stunned? Okay, his stun lasts a lot longer than than I would have thought it does. Whenever we do the the hit each other at the same time, like the parry sort of deal, like that. Like yeah, he ends up standing there for for a minute. You know, it's just if you don't want to hit him whenever he guards, though, that that ends up being bad. No, roll. Okay, thank you. Ah, the slash. Yeah, gloat that, you bastard. Okay, well, <laughs> we didn't even make it as far as we did the last couple of times. That's not a good show. All right. It'll be okay. We got the yellow orb, and this time, if we get low on health, we'll use the uh, vitality orb, too. Just gotta... Okay, get into it. Deep breath. Not too deep. That kind of hurt my lung. <laughs> God. Uh. All right, we got this. I think I was just a little bit too aggressive last time. I want to I wanna be a little bit more aggressive... 
because that's how we we get the actual damage in is by hitting him with the sword uh, the the gun does very little Ooh. but uh too much aggression is just gonna lead to us putting ourselves in danger and harm's way when we don't need to oh shoot Ah, oh, you bastard. Okay. Try it. Try to get some heals going. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay. Okay, we got to heal. I hate using it already. I don't know why we're doing so much worse this time than we did last time. Like, it's really kind of annoying. We got him to stage three both tries last time, and this time we're not even to stage two yet, and we're almost dead. Okay, stage two. I don't know, guys. <laughs> I'm losing hope. <laughs> You'll be able... Wait, what? I'll be able to get, do Discord, can run Discord, and all got two phones to use now? Oh, okay, okay, okay. I see what you're saying. Yeah, I mean, if you want to if you wanna try that, then, like, I'm for it. We're dead. Sorry, I'm concentrating a little bit, trying to live, but I have no way of getting health <clears throat> besides, like, shooting him with this. And, like, uh, yeah, that's not going to give us much, you know? I mean, that's some. And we're not doing any damage just staying back here shooting at him, so. Yep. All right, we might be able to take GG. Good job falling all the way to the freaking bottom, don't ask. <laughs> we might be able to take one hit, maybe. Uh, it just depends on how much, what kind of hit, how much damage we take. Oh, so glad we didn't get hit, like, right there. Okay, I need to get to where I can actually see him, at least. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Fuck, dude. Oh, man. Oh. Not Devil May Cry 5. Is there a way to change? I could have swore there was a way to change. There are two preliminary difficulties in Devil May Cry. There are normal mode and easy automatic mode. When you start a new game, you must play the first mission in normal mode. Once you beat normal mode or die three times, you get a choice before starting mission two. You can stay on normal mode or switch over to easy automatic. It's your choice, but you should use the first mission to determine your difficulty to finish the game. We didn't have that much trouble on the first mission, though. If you think you can handle normal and you aren't going to go down washout lane, then go with normal. Normal will advance to new difficulties. Uh... Do easy, I'd recommend normal. Normal leads to the extra modes, blah, blah, blah. Hard mode, Dante must die mode. Yeah, it doesn't, it looks like after that first time, it gives us the the choice. We, we lose the ability to uh, to choose to go to a new difficulty. So we're, we're, we're stuck on this one. But I'm not going to keep on going on this one, though. Like, this is, this is, uh, I personally want to keep on this one, but I don't feel like it's very good for the stream. So if we if we still die after this one, we're gonna start over from mission one, I guess. I mean, it only took like what, on on normal mode, it only took an hour and a half to get to to where we're at, and we should remember most of the the tricks now, right? So I wonder if 
I wonder if this would be the better option. I wish we had a little bit more money. We're going to try the yellow, the yellow star instead. Going to go with that route, see what happens. All right, mission start. I hate spending a thousand red orbs on that, but... We got to try something. Other than dying, because we <laughs> we've been trying that, and it's not it's not working for us all that well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. immense power from the statue. Trust me, game. I know at this point. <laughs> this is only about the twelfth time I've seen this screen. All right, Shadow Cat, let's go. Also, you would think by now I would also remember to switch to Ebony and Ivory a little bit sooner. Like, before we get into the middle of a fight. But, uh, nope. Obviously, I never learn. <laughs> if I learned, uh, or was able of learning, we probably wouldn't still be stuck on the same boss after all this time. Ah, you bastard. My one complaint about DMC so far, honestly, is that how the boss just gets out of the uh, line of sight all the time. Like, that's actually a bit of a problem, you know? When so much of your game is about the enemy, like, telegraphing what they're going to do so you can try to, to dodge or, or parry or do whatever you need to do, and then you can't see the, the enemy that you're fighting, that's a little bit of an issue. Focusing a little bit. Okay, <laughs> mm that hurt. I mean, honestly, I really hope we don't end up using our gold star here. We're going to use our gold thing here already. Bruh. Bruh. <laughs> I can't believe that we're sucking this bad right now. This is insane. Ugh. We've done that fight so many times without, like, any trouble at all. I don't know what's going on. It's one of those things I think I just need to, like, step away from it and come back, but I can't. <laughs> you know? Like, you ever been stuck on a boss for a really long time or whatever, and then you just uh, take a break, try it again the next day, and suddenly you beat it no problem? I feel like that's what I got going on here right now. Oh, missed the dodge, too. Bro. <laughs> We're dead. Like, <laughs> fuck. Okay, weapon. Switch over to Ebony and Ivory. I thought it would have saved that after we, we died and used the, the yellow star, but I guess not. Come on, just freaking die, you stupid shadow cat. Please and thank you. Oh, okay. We're gonna die. Well, he's already in the red mode because we, uh... Because we went into Devil Trigger. Alright, well, we got one shot then at the final, uh, the final boss, the area boss. <laughs> one shot and we're not even going to be at full health because somehow the, the Shadow Cat almost destroyed us twice. Which is uh, a little bit embarrassing, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> not that it isn't a bit of a pain, but just because we've... We... <laughs> Excuse me. Just because we've uh, dealt with that thing so many times at this point that it should not be giving us that much trouble anymore. Uh, not that way. This way, please. The Shadow Cat gets us all, my friend. <laughs> I mean, I remember the first couple times I fought it, I did have a lot of trouble with it. But man, we were doing so decent with it just, uh, you know, a half hour ago, and now... Now it literally almost killed me twice. Hell, the last run, not the one before this one, but the one before that, 
I don't know if you were around, but we got the, the area boss down <clears throat> to stage three twice in a row. Like, so freaking close. And then that last run, man, we only got him to stage three once and just barely. I don't know what's going on. I'm like, I, I think I'm hitting a hump. <laughs> Shall I use the death sentence? Yes. I don't know why, like, video games ask you if you want to use an item somewhere. Unless there's the possibility of using it somewhere else as well. I'm like, uh, uh, of course, I'm going to use it here. That's the only point of this thing that you gave me. <coughs> Just outdoor dashing also? I feel it, man. No problem, no problem. At least the roads aren't too bad today. Uh, we did get a little bit of snow, I guess, there earlier today, didn't we? Is what uh is what I was hearing. Plus, I I see that a lot of stuff is uh pretty well covered in snow. All right, so I feel like we should use the amulet once we're close to death as like a a as a as a last resort sort of deal. So just gonna focus. Come on, you bastard! Do something. Not that, preferably. Okay, well. Shit, dude. See what I mean? Like, <laughs> already. Use it. I have no idea how long this thing lasts for. I highly doubt it's going to be long enough. Okay, he's up there. I don't think we'll be able to get to him fast enough before it runs out. You freaking jump up, Dante. Okay, okay. We might be able to get him to stage three. Maybe not. Ooh. Okay, so we got him to, to stage three, but uh... <laughs> I don't think we're going to go any farther. Fuck, dude. <laughs> this game is rough. We can't we can't go into devil mode. We don't have enough saved up for that. All right. <clears throat> One hit and we're dead. I can tell you this much, rather drive in snow and rain than ever drive in fog again. Man, that was me the other day. I was on my way back from work after my lunch break and I couldn't see more than like, I don't know, maybe 10 feet in ahead of me at best. It was pretty bad. Yeah, our, our local Burger King was closed. I don't know. I don't know what I was uh, up with that, but. Alright. Sorry. Trying to focus. Oh, okay. I really didn't mean to jump like that. We're dead. Oh, fuck. Alright, guys. <clears throat> I hate to do it, but we're stepping down. <laughs> we got to. We got to. Do we go one more time or do we step down? I think we're going to step down. Go down to easy mode. Is that a jester hat? Wait, what? <laughs> I don't. I didn't even see it. Redo on easy? Yeah, I think that's what we're going to have to do, man. I was driving on that day. It just got worse. As it got later, man, you couldn't see anything but my hood at some points. Yeah. That's freaking rough. Like, holy shit, dude. All right. Yep. New game. Easy automatic. On the boss stream? There's no way for me to change it mid-game. I thought there was, but there's not. I wish there was, but it's not there. Devil may cry. The options just doesn't exist to do it. <laughs> Which is really annoying because the rest of the game we weren't having that much trouble with. Obviously, a couple of the bosses gave us trouble, but nothing that bad, you know? And then we get to that one guy and it's just impossible. Like, can't do it, man. I don't know. Oh, well, at least it won't take us long to get back there. It'll take us less time to get back to that spot than uh, we spent trying to kill that one boss. Like, <laughs> it's annoying who the hell is closed on Saturdays. Even Google says closed on Saturdays. Our local Burger King, Rue. 
Yeah, I, I have no idea why, but for some reason it says it's closed on Saturdays. We were going to order some food from there, and we just couldn't. Wasn't available. Oh, since I'm on easy mode, I can probably switch back over to my OBS view. Give me a better view of chat. There we go. That's weak for real, though. I like I don't understand it at all. I don't know why the hell someone would close on Saturdays. Like a major fast food restaurant. If it's a local mom and pop business or something like that, you know, maybe. Maybe that makes sense. They want some some a weekend together or or whatever the case may be. But like Burger King though? Like that's a that's a major chain. Why the hell are you closed on Saturdays? The only thing I can think is they're having some sort of staffing issue or something. That's I can't see any other situation where that makes any sense. Wait, am I able to jump over to there? Nah, I keep getting stuck. Maybe if I go from like here though? Or can we just go up there naturally? We might be able to just go up there naturally. Why is that jump so hard? Whatever. So I don't remember exactly where we're supposed to go in these earlier sections, but like uh, I'm pretty sure I can figure it out easily enough though. So that we don't get stuck in any of them uh, for too long. <laughs> You'll be asking the manager when he comes into the store. Okay. Okay, Karen. Jeez. <laughs> Joking, love. Up and at him. There you go. Good job. Good job, Dante. All the red orbs, please. And creepy statues. All right, which door do we go through? This one here is locked, if I remember correctly, right? Yeah, that one's locked behind a thing. We need a certain number of orbs to be able to open it. This one's locked by a key. Is that enough orbs? Maybe 40 was the number. That would make sense, you know, get us acquainted. The door is sealed. 45 red orbs. Okay. So we're short by five. I think there's a door up here somewhere, though, right? There's somewhere we can go before we go in there. Maybe. I thought so. <laughs> there's this dude, but he just sells us upgrades or whatever, right? Knows and remembers all the past. The word... Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, we can... Uh, that's where we save and stuff, yep. Where am I missing orbs at? Can we go through that other door already? I thought the other door was locked. I guess we shall check because I'm not seeing any other red orbs to collect. Are you... The store is sealed shut. Maybe a rusty keyboard. Yeah, what the hell? Where's my last orbs? Oh, right there. Right there's the... No, that's not a key. That's a... <laughs> that's a torch, not a key. What am I missing, man? See, I went that way. I went over there that way. I collected all these orbs. I'm pretty sure I went up here, right? Yeah, yeah. We definitely went up here. Did we... Go both ways, though. Something up there. Ah! There we go. 42. Okay, well, yeah, we already went this way and got these ones. Uh, no. Dante? Da Dante. Jump, and then... <laughs> jump away from the wall. Stop jumping on the wall. Whatever, we'll go the long way around. <laughs> Holy shit, Dante. Maybe we didn't go all the way around to the left? Or maybe there is a door up there. That I'm forgetting. You would think with it only being like two weeks since we did this, I would remember a little bit better. But, uh, 
You wouldn't know how bad my memory is. <laughs> Dante seems to be having some trouble. This is very true. Dante is definitely having some trouble. Me and Dante both. What am I missing? Did the game glitch? Am I missing a very obvious door or something? I don't see no red orbs or doors. Can't go in that door. Bruh, somebody. What the hell am I doing? Looks like a statue of a god. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nate, you're the DMC expert. What's missing? Seriously, like, we didn't get stuck on this at all the first time that I played. What the hell is going on? I'm starting to wonder if the game glitched or something, man. Okay, I got the orbs from over here. That just goes down there. I don't think there's any way to just... Yeah, no, I can't, like, jump over there and do anything. Uh... Devil may cry one. Can't find 45 orbs. Street forgets what the hell he did. Uh, yeah. Walk through. Lower difficulties. Dante starts out. Yellow orb in plain sight of an ultra light and well hidden blue orbs. The ladder's not visible. This is significantly easier on New Game Plus. Proceeding up the path and into the cracked wall of the castle will result in sealing behind Dante. This is the official start of the mission, with the area outside not being counted towards the level for ranking purposes. Uh, door with the magical seal, 45. The back right of the room to get to those player has to have Dante wall jump off the collapsed section of floor to get higher, then proceed forward and drop down a hole. What? Back right. Has to wall jump. And then there's a hole? What hole? I think he's talking about these ones, but I got these ones here. I'm wondering if the game glitched on us, guys. Alright, we went all the way around here, right? Yep, no red orbs. This side? No red orbs over here? We went up there and collected these ones, right? Come on, just freaking. Thank you. Yeah, we got it all, these ones. <laughs> There's a place downtown where the freaks all come around. It's a hole in the wall, dirty free for all. <laughs> Somebody's got music on the brain today, don't they? Okay, back right. Bro, I'm really, I'm really concerned now. Like, did the game glitch out? Because that's, yeah, we can't do shit with that. We have... Okay, apparently we have 45 now. I could have swore when we picked up that last orb, it said 42. Did it not say 42? Like, am I insane? I thought it said 42, maybe 43 when we picked up that last one. Apparently, we just had 45 been running around here for Lord knows how long now. I think the universe is telling us that I just shouldn't be playing video games today. That's the problem. <laughs> like, holy shit. Stream can't read example 562. What do you mean? I, I, look, I don't think I have any way of playing back the footage at this moment, but I am so certain i am certain that it said we only had like 42 or whatever not 45 i may be a tiny bit dyslexic sometimes but like bruh it definitely said 42 i'm so mad about it like <laughs> i'm salty as fuck i'm not even gonna lie oh i see the hole up there game you might not believe me at the moment, but I'm not that blind, really. <laughs> I'm glad she's doing better, but I totally miss old Kesha mu music. 
Uh, isn't she still fighting for freedom, though, from the, uh, from whoever her music label person is? Like, I don't think she's actually completely free from it, right? Last I saw, it said 44, but that's also me missing one. Maybe it said 44. All I, I'm, I'm fairly certain at no point did it say 45. Like, you don't think she is? I'm pretty sure she is, man. Because I was just reading an article, and now, I mean, the article could have been wrong, but I was just reading an article, like, a, a couple days ago, talking about how, uh, like, they're, I think, like, they were talking about being happy for, for Britney and her getting free of her whole conservatorship and all that BS, but that Kesha still isn't free from her, the manager that she signed with or whatever, like, and she, she's still, like, one album still has to do at least one album before she can be free but like they're they're making it extremely difficult for her to release an album some shit like that so my my memory is obviously very poor so i'm not gonna sit here and pretend that i'm not misremembering any details i probably am but i'm pretty sure it was something along those lines <clears throat> haven't kept up with it too much yeah i mean neither have i obviously <laughs> There are three openings to insert something. Okay. I don't think we ever figured out how to uh, to do that last time, did we? There's a ladder, but the lid is closed and I can't go through. So nothing we can do here right now, right? It's too heavy to lift, even with my strength. Yeah, okay. So let's just go do the, the rusty freaking key door. <laughs> and fight some, some wonderful marionettes on the, the way through it. Look how much more health we have on easy mode, man. So my problem with like playing on easy mode is it's probably not gonna present much of a challenge. And uh, well, I, I I like challenges, man. I like playing games with a challenge in them. That's why I usually play games on harder difficulties, but I totally understand though that it's not the most enjoyable thing in the world to watch someone fight the same boss for two hours straight. <laughs> Unless you're like part of uh, the Kaizo Mario fandom, then uh, yeah, that's basically what you do all day. Watching people play the same levels on Mario for <laughs> six hours straight. <laughs> I think that would push me to my limit. Like, trying to play one Mario level for that long. Although someday I do want to try and beat a uh, Kaizo game. But holy hell, that would not be an easy time. Like, uh, statues. Hey, blue orb. Thank you. And can we jump up here or anything? No, doesn't look like it. Okay, nothing to do here, except for get confused by the camera. Doesn't look like she is. Yeah, it's, it sucks, man. Hopefully, she'll get that all figured out soon. Use the rusty key to get through the door. And kill the suit of armor. <laughs> Ugh. On the next break, I think I'm going to have to find some Tylenol, man. My uh, head is starting to kill me. <laughs> like... <laughs> Hopefully, could definitely use another dinosaur bop. What? <laughs> Why does dinosaur bop sound like a uh, like a genre of music to me? Right? Like, <laughs> like, like uh, good music made by old people. Dinosaur bops, man. Like, <laughs> but like, Kesha's not even <laughs> that old or anything. But that's what it makes me think of. Like. <laughs> That's whenever all of these pop stars that we listen to now are like 80 years old. They're going to be making dinosaur bops, dude. <laughs> oh my god, can it be? It can be if you want it to be. <laughs> if nobody else does it, just do it yourself, man. How are you gonna, what's your version of Dinosaur Bop though? Are you gonna take like some uh, dinosaur noises, throw them together with a, with a sick drum beat or something? Maybe a nice uh, guitar riff every now and then? Oh, if we're talking pop music though, it's gotta have like that, that synth track in there, right? 
little bit of electronica mixed into it. Gotta have it. Wait, does that dude got a shotgun? Is this where we get our shotgun at? Maybe this is where we got the shotgun from. <laughs> I, uh, I don't remember, not gonna lie. Uh, maybe not. Maybe that marionette was just special. Dinosaur? Dinosaur? <laughs> uh, what? <laughs> Am I supposed to know what that means? Is this a Kesha reference or something? I feel like I'm probably missing something here, love. You're gonna have to explain it to me, because I'm not gonna get it otherwise. <laughs> Is it one of her... I'm assuming it's like one of her songs or something, right? Dino noises, but like <laughs> dubstepy. <laughs> you spell it. D-I-N-O-S-A-U-R. What? <laughs> D-I-N-O-S-A-U-R. Dino-S-A-U-R? I don't... I don't get it, love. Nope. Sorry. I'm too old. I no longer know what's hip with the kids. There's actually an artist called Stegosaurus Rex, and I adore one of his songs. <laughs> Honestly, I feel like that number's a little bit low, Rue. <laughs> Dinosa. D I N O S A U R. D-I-N-O-S-A. 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 Does that mean something? I don't... <laughs> Is that better? <laughs> D-I-N-O-S-A. You are a dinosaur. <laughs> That's just... Is that just lyrics to a song? I feel like that's just lyrics to a song, man. But, <laughs> poor noodle. <laughs> I don't, I don't, <laughs> I don't get what's going on here, man. It, yeah, it's just lyrics to a song, right? That's what I thought. But, I don't really, <laughs> I don't really get what's the, uh, well, I mean, I figured it was a Kesha song since we're talking about Kesha. But I don't really get, like, uh, <laughs> I guess I just don't really get that lyric, you know? But hey, whatever. It's fine. Uh, I don't need to understand it. <laughs> Obviously, it's a dinosaur bop, so... She's calling you an old man. Oh. You're a dinosaur-like old man. That makes sense. <laughs> Hitting on her what? She's calling you an old man. Hitting on her what? You need a CAT scan. I'm assuming these are also lyrics, then. Uh, no, wait. I didn't want to leave this area yet, did I? Hopefully that's not going to spawn more people. I don't think it will. Yeah, we can go through here now. I need a drink and some Tylenol. My head is is murdering me. Ugh. Oh, no. Am I out of drink? God, I want to slap <laughs> Stream, you're killing us here. What? They're just lyrics to a song, right? I mean, I kind of feel like I need a CAT scan, though, right now. Dealing with y'all. Jeez. <laughs> oh, excuse me. It's uh, it's like 15 minutes early or so, but I'm going to take a, uh, a real quick break. Uh, because, yeah, I need some Tylenol and a drink, and I don't think I have any uh, drinkage up here. Not that part? Bro, y'all are going to have to spell it out for me, because otherwise I don't know what... I'm gonna, uh, what the heck y'all are talking about. Other than the fact that it's a song. I totally understand that it's a Kesha song. But like, <laughs> is that, are you just singing a Kesha song in my, in my chat? I don't understand. I'm very confused here. Him? Around, wait. So it's not? It's not Kesha? Not that stream I'm gonna hit you. She's calling you an old man, hitting on her what? You need a cat scan. Stream you're killing it. I don't know what's going on. I'm very confused. I'll be back. <laughs>
just the most of them there are a handful of them that aren't great um but yeah there's a ton of them that are just really good we we did not corner this properly at all this coop handles like shit too <laughs> oh my lord <laughs> that was <laughs> i don't think yeah no we already we're already past the the time time expired holy crap okay we got this we can do this yeah, I've never heard of Juiced, though. Juiced on the OG Xbox, huh? Hmm. What was it? Was it, like, a normal racing game? Or was it something super arcade -y, like Need for Speed or something like that? Or... So I've never heard of it, so I, I have no idea. Alright, so... We want to slow down and then bring in the corner. And... Nope, come on, turn, you damn car. Turn! <laughs> oh, man, this car sucks. That's another thing that I really like about the Gran Turismo games is, okay, we got bronze. That's good enough. Is uh, that like you buy these junky cars and then you slowly work your way up to all the nice ones and everything like that throughout the career. Oh man, I love me some some Gran Turismo games. I think this is one of the ones that Mr. Noodle got for me, isn't it, love? If you can still hear me. I'm pretty sure this is one of the ones you got me at, actually. Oh, I should have read what we were doing in this one. Love Need for Speed, but the original Most Wanted was your favorite. Climbing the blacklist and picking the cards out and all. It was street racing, a lot of customization and all that. Yeah, I loved that stuff too, man. Being able to change like uh, your your body paint, your rims, and all that jazz. Stream said, hmm. uh, Grand Turismo 3 A-Spec, the game that we're playing right now. Isn't this one of the ones you got me, actually? Or you may not remember, but I'm, I'm pretty sure. I want to say this is one of the ones you got me, love. You think so? Yeah, I think so too. Which is, uh, I was just saying, like, how much I love the Gran Turismo series, so. I appreciate it, so thank you, love, for getting this one for me. Oh, no, we, we went way offline there. Oh, we're, we're, we're about to hit the wall. Okay, try again. <laughs> you think a Christmas one for $5? That sounds right. $5? I think. My case is sitting over by the PS2, so I'm not 100% sure, but I, I think this is one of the $5 ones. It definitely came from that shop where you bought all my games from. I know that much. Oh, God. Okay, this one handles a little bit better, but it's still freaking rough. Holy shit. Okay. We got this, man. <laughs> Getting the top part if you pick the right card after a boss race. Yeah, those games are, like, super arcade -y, but still a crap ton of fun, you know? The Need for Speed games. There's nothing wrong with arcade -y racing games i just uh something about the gran turismo more simulation ish was a lot of fun to me and then i really liked i think it was the oh uh, we lost control we had it for a second but we lost it i think it was the ps3 one where they actually did like the top racers in the world on gran turismo got the chance to go and get their actual driving license um by using like gran turismo to practice and whatnot which uh, I thought was pretty cool. Oh man, we just cannot pull in that corner enough. That might be okay. We might make it. I, we're definitely not getting gold, but we might get bronze. Oh yeah, okay, bronze. I was hoping for silver, but nope, not even that. Okay, I'm back. Hello. Guess who has Alfredo, sadly, with no chicken? That sucks, man. I, uh, we get pizza on Fridays, usually. Noodle and I. And we got Domino's and some pasta and whatnot. And I got their pasta primavera, which is, like, uh, the same noodles and Alfredo sauce, but then it also has, like, veggies chopped up and put down in it. It was decent, but I was sad for the same reason. <laughs> and ended up not having any chicken in it. And how are you going to have... Alfredo without chicken. Yeah, Noodle got the chicken Alfredo bowl. But she got the bread bowl, which is just... I don't care for the bread bowl. Too much bread. Like, pasta's already bread. Pizza's already bread. Why do I need to eat bread with my bread? And bread. <laughs> you know? That's just me, though. I, I know a lot of people do really like the... The bread bowl. Bread bowl was Bessie. 
<laughs> I like bread. I mean, I get it. I like bread too, but it's too much bread. Too much bread at one time. For me, at least. Although, like, if there's a lot of extra sauce, dipping some bread down in that's pretty, pretty fire. What were you eating? Leftover spaghetti with no meat sauce, so you just opened a jar of Alfredo? I mean, hell, that works, man. Why not? All right, next mission. Oh, excuse me. Also, when I went downstairs to get a drink, Mr. Noodle made sure to inform me that the whole problem was that I wasn't saying D-I-N-O-S-A, you are a dinosaur. Uh, I wasn't saying it well enough, and that's why <laughs> she was so upset about the whole situation, guys. Because I, I wasn't singing it to the right beat or whatever. And, like, I'm sorry. I'm sure I've heard the song before, Noodle. But, uh, <laughs> like, I do not remember it, like, at all, though. So, <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> oh, I wonder if we have any garlic bread. Bro, garlic bread is freaking amazing. With any kind of pasta. But especially dipped in some cheesy Alfredo sauce. Yes, please. Yes, please. We have a, uh, a place that sells, uh, like a hot dog shop near us that sells, uh, chili cheese dogs and fries and all that, but they use, like, a cheese sauce instead of a, uh, like, shredded cheese, and oh lord, it is so good, like, just, just, just bread and cheese from there is so good together, you know? Love it. I can pick up all these red orbs. I feel like I'm gonna sneeze. Oh, please. I hate whenever there's just like a sneeze there. It either just needs to come or it just needs to, to stay put. Like, go away, I mean. Uh, I dipped my pizza and stuff crusted. it. I did because I had a little bit, I always get a little bit extra on the side to, uh, to put on my hot dogs if they don't put enough. And uh, I didn't end up using it all because they gave me way too much. So I kept it in the fridge for a couple days, and then we ended up getting pizza. And, uh, yeah, I didn't have any, uh, I didn't have any, uh, what the hell is it called? Any pizza sauce or anything to, to dip my crust in, so fuck it, just gonna use cheese, man. <laughs> it was really good, like, I'm not complaining at all. <laughs> Excellent use for cheese right there. For a cheddar cheese sauce. I even like like cheese in a can though, so like yeah, like, I just I just like cheese. Doesn't really matter what kind. Marinara, yeah. I mean, no marinara, no pizza sauce, no. I don't even. Well, we might have had spaghetti sauce. I'm not sure, but yeah. Like, wait, I can hear a voice. I am Alistair. Blah 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 blah. Wear out. Holy shit, I can select emotes without the stream buffering, though. <laughs> Bro. Oh, I am so happy you got a desktop. <laughs> like, that is rough. It had a buffer every time you went to select emotes before? That is sad. Cheese in a can. Hell yeah. Spray cheese, man. That's where it's at. Spray cheese is best cheese? Not really. <laughs> but, <laughs> yes. Spread the love. Oh. I guess we could uh, skip these cutscenes. We've seen these cutscenes before. We're just trying to get through the game at this point. I'm pretty sure Rue's been in the stream when we did that, right? When we found out that you can... Ah, oh, maybe not. Maybe you weren't in the stream. I thought you were. Yeah, you, uh, you spend channel points on it. And then uh, you can like make them black and white. You can squish them. You can put uh, what you call it's on them, like glasses or or uh, the little the little finger thing that you put under your chin. You know, point out your finger, put your thumb up, that sort of thing. Apparently, you can do it to any of the emotes. I I didn't know that was a thing either until <laughs> until just recently. I don't know who figured it out. I don't remember if it was Noodle or, or Nate. But somebody came in and was screwing around with it. Oh, you know what it was? I was looking through my emotes, and I saw that it was a thing. And then uh, people was wondering how they could do that. But, you know, since it's my own emotes, I was able to do it for free. And then Nate or someone figured out that you can pay a little bit for it. 
Yes, I'll take the key. Oh, that's adorable. Doris Lady. Doris Lady was the one that figured it out? Okay, okay. There you go. Somebody figured it out. <laughs> that's all that matters. Hey, there's the shotgun. Nice. Okay. Now, do we just leave at this point? I think we just leave at this point. We got the key. That key should unlock a door that we probably passed at some point. I wonder how Dorseman and Dorse Lady are doing. <clears throat> I was hoping to have a chance to talk to him before the stream started today, but uh, I was having some uh, stomach issues, let's say, and <laughs> didn't get the chance to. Hey, the inverted one. Yep. I like the inverted one, too. I don't know. It's just different. Like, <laughs> like obviously, it's the same emo, but it's just facing the other way. And for some reason, that makes it that much cuter. <laughs> I think you can do a... Uh, I think you can do a, a vertical flip, too. It may only be horizontal, but I thought you could do both directions. Holy shit, look how much uh, devil trigger we have starting out here on easy mode. I also am just now realizing that we're already on our second bar of health. Like, <laughs> like easy mode is kind of insane, bruh. Wow, okay. Uh, well, look, if we get stuck on the boss at this point, y'all have permission to publicly ridicule me, as if you wouldn't already, but, you know, <laughs> now you have permission to do it, because, holy crap. I say as we're, we're like, slowly dying to these dudes, just basic marionettes. <laughs> but no, I, like, I'm hardly paying attention to them, though. Give me, give me a little bit of credit. Is that your favorite one, Noodle, the dude with the glasses? I feel like you use that one the most. It almost fits, too. If the glasses were just a little bit taller, it would be perfect, you know? It'd be neat if I could go in and, like, customize the placement of those things to make it fit a little bit better, but sadly, I do not have that ability. You kind of like the squished one? The squished one's just funny looking because it's... Well, I mean, it's squished, like... <laughs> You know, the one other benefit of playing on easy mode, though, will be that, uh, other than the fact that we hopefully won't get stuck on anything anymore, is we'll probably accumulate a lot more of the red orbs, because we won't have to, uh, be spending it on, on stuff, like on vitality stars and yellow revive things and whatnot, so. If you do the one with the finger option, it kind of looks like it's going in his mouth. That's, uh, <laughs> Sure, I guess, yeah. <laughs> oh, Lord. <laughs> oh, God. <coughs> I mean, you're not wrong. It does kind of look like that, yes. <laughs> I can't argue with that. You are factually correct. <laughs> Yes, all the red orbs. Or red orbs, green orbs, both orbs, actually. You know what? Just give them all to me. <laughs> uh, we don't have whatever goes in there yet. Something, this is where the guiding soul is gathered. Oh, so that thing, the melancholy soul or whatever that, you know, we were trying to collect but kept dying. But uh, <laughs> that's probably where that's going to go. Kind of steamy there, stream. What I say that was steamy? Talking about a hole or something? <laughs> or the finger going in the mouth? Is that what's uh, got you all steamy? <laughs> okay, so we got the staff. Where did the staff go? I remember not. Does the staff go here? <laughs> Probably not. No, okay. It doesn't seem like it. So probably another one of these rooms here then that uh, we passed at some point. I, I thought we got attacked by a bunch of... Oh, here we go. <laughs> I was going to say, I thought we got attacked by a bunch of witches or reapers or whatever the hell you want to call them. 
I'm not steamy. You're the one who has emotes with options of fingers being in their mouth. Uh, what can I say, man? I like it freaky. <laughs> I didn't even make those emotes, though. Like the WTF one. The WTF one is just one of the uh, default ones that were given to me until I uh, kick Jonathan's ass and make him finish up the other ones. <laughs> Ow! I forgot whenever we kill them, they drop their scissors. And they drop their scissors in a violent manner. <laughs> oh wait, was there only two of them? Oh no, I'm pretty sure there were so many more whenever we were still playing on normal mode. What the hell? Okay, well. Don't run with them. Don't run with the scissors. Hey, I remember the little spider bros. They just give us free orbs. Yep, Staff of Judgment. Oh man, that was so much easier. What the hell? Burn the spiders? Spiders are friends. They get rid of bigger bugs that you don't want in your house. And like 99% of them are harmless to humans. So spiders are friends. Leave the spiders alone. Bob is our robot vacuum. <laughs> that's that's who Bob is. <laughs> Noodle likes to randomly bring uh bring Bob up without saying that. So yeah, it seems a little weird. But <laughs> we have two robot vacuums. One's named Bob. The other's named Marley. So we have Bob Marley. <laughs> okay then good job Bob Bob is a toddler <laughs> Bob's not that bad he just gets a little stuck every now and then alright so this is where we fought the giant spider that was the first boss that we got stuck on but that one we were able to defeat after like what 10 minutes or something like that like that one wasn't that bad Noodle hates all bugs. This is very true. Noodle is scared of any and all bugs. Doesn't matter what they are. Well, I don't think she's, like, scared of flies. Uh, she doesn't like them, obviously, but, yeah. Uh, door has been cursed with an evil spell and won't open. Wait, what? Mood, I prefer handling reptiles to bugs. Yeah, um, I I don't know. I guess I'm pretty indifferent to all that. Like <laughs> reptiles, bugs, whatever. None of them really bother me all that much. As long as it's not something that's gonna kill me, like I don't really, I don't really care. Bread orbs for days. Let's go. Symbol resembles the staff of Hermes. It's used in alchemy. Understand? Yeah. Blah blah blah. Yep. Okay. Go back the path, and thou shalt return from the abyss with the lion heart, and thou shalt receive the pride of lion. Okay. We shall go back. I'm iffy on reptiles and amphibians, says Noodle. You're iffy on all kinds of things, though. <laughs> Rue's mostly afraid of spiders. Bugs I hate with a bloody passion. <laughs> oh, lord. I don't think they're all that bad, guys. Like, I can understand not wanting them to be crawling on you and shit like that or whatever, but, like, they're just bugs. They're not gonna hurt you. Oh, these guys. Yeah, I remember them. Freaking jerks. My nose itches. Ah. <laughs> Noodle tried to pick up a water moccasin whenever she was younger. That's a good way to uh, get in some trouble right there, man. Be glad that thing didn't bite you. That would have been a <laughs> wonderful time. <laughs> Spiders and, and things like that are the same way, though, where 99% of them aren't dangerous to, to humans, you know? I'm, I feel like there's more spiders that are dangerous to humans than there are... Uh, or more, more snakes dangerous to humans than there are spiders, but... Yeah, I don't know. Blue orb... Fragment, please and thank you. 
<laughs> so for context here, anybody that's reading Noodle's uh, message there, um, she has been torturing her manager by randomly leaving behind and hiding Peppa Pigs all throughout the store that she works at. Um, so yeah, <laughs> how is she gonna pay you back, Noodle? <clears throat> That's probably why she told you to, uh, that you had to take time off until your COVID test comes back. She probably just didn't want to deal with your Peppa Pigs anymore. <laughs> I, I don't know if I blame her. <laughs> uh, let me get the heal. Thank you. Okay. So, spider boss, question mark? I think so. You just gotta fill your purse with crickets and roaches. Crickets I'm fine with, but roaches? Those things are kind of gross, man. Like, a couple crickets in your house are gonna be annoying. A couple roaches in your house is an infestation. <laughs> like... <laughs> So we'll have to have a little chat with her, okay? We'll have to tell her the crickets are all right, but uh, leave the roaches out of it. <laughs> oh. Let's not talk roaches. <laughs> yeah. yeah. We lived in a uh, apartment once upon a time that had a, a roach problem. The whole building, not, you know, our apartment specifically. And, uh... Yep. I'd rather not have to deal with that ever again. <laughs> if possible. Pay attention to redemptions. Stretch. Okay. We will as soon as we're done dying. Dude, that was so much easier. <laughs> like, holy shit. I remember that boss a couple weeks ago. And it took us not a, not a shit ton of time. But it took us probably like four or five minutes, man. And now that thing just died like that, like nothing. That was, that was a joke, you know? Like, holy hell. That's why I wish I wouldn't have died so many times to the freaking dude on normal. Fuck me. Got a little bit of a back crack in there too. That felt awesome. Easy mode is Fred. Yeah, but I'm not an easy mode gamer. Like, I'm really glad when games have it in there. For, for, you know, people who just either aren't that good in games or who prefer to play games more for the story than anything else or uh, disabled people, younger people, whatever. Like, I appreciate easy mode being there, but I'm not an easy mode gamer. I'm a uh, hard mode gamer, usually speaking. I like the challenge, but that one difficulty spike was insane with that boss. With that said, though, we are now uh, back to where we were. <laughs> where we're all caught up. Just like that. It wouldn't have even taken that long if I wouldn't have uh, either misread or, or whatever. I don't know. I have no idea what happened with the, the orbs in the beginning. Mission 4, Black Knight. Hey, thank you for the bits, love. I appreciate it. You know what we are going to try to do, though? Since we are on easy mode, we're going to try and kill this spider that's going to appear right here. Instead of running from it. Die, you freaking spider monster. Oh, yeah, look at that. Too freaking easy, dude. Uh, floor is lava. <laughs> Oh, really? We don't get anything special for killing it? It's just dead? That sucks. I was kind of hoping we would get, like, uh, I don't know, an extra item or a power-up or something. But I guess we just get more red orbs. The red orbs are their own uh, gift, own own reward. There you go. That's, that's, that's what I was trying to think of. Nate, you still here, bud? I'm curious if you, if you are still here. I'm just curious, uh... Wait, what? Where's the shadow kitty? 
why no shadow cat we're fighting an entirely different boss on easy mode really wait <laughs> I'm very confused is that because we killed the spider or just because we're on a different difficulty but anyways, Nate, since you're still here, I was just curious where you were dashing at tonight. If you were dashing in town or if you were dashing uh, that other place that you like to go. <laughs> well, that's, uh, you're dashing in town today? Okay. Okay. I don't really need anything at the moment. We had uh, McDonald's early this morning, but I don't know. I guess I'm just starting to feel hungry, so I had food on the mind. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I still have pizza left in the fridge, though, now that I think about it. Like, I should probably eat some of that whenever the stream's over. We're still, uh, we're still doing D&D &D tonight, too, right? I haven't talked to any of the guys, so. I'm not sure what's going on with that, but I'm assuming we're, we're still on. You just ate dinner? You're Alfredo. I'd love some Alfredo right now. See, Noodle doesn't like jarred Alfredo sauce, or I would probably keep a jar or two of it around all the time. Because <laughs> I, I have nothing. Obviously, I prefer homemade Alfredo sauce, but I have nothing against just cooking up some noodles, dumping some Alfredo on it, and then just, like, freaking eat it, dude. Like, <laughs> you know? Like, I'm all for that. Yep, put the death sentence through that. Stab it right through her heart. Let's go. Had to have McDonald's because Noodle's not allowed stackers, apparently. As far as you know, we are. Burger King has something against Noodle. <laughs> uh, talked to the DM earlier. Once I had no homemade, I couldn't go back. I haven't found a jar I like since. So what you're saying is it's my fault? Or did somebody else make you homemade before me? Ah, dude, this Tylenol needs to kick in. My head's still killing me. It's like the snack wrap cravings all over again, but now with, uh, now with the freaking, whatchamacallit, the, uh, the stacker. Oh, gods, no. <laughs> I should probably be a little bit careful here, but I'm just like, I don't know, I ain't even scared of this dude anymore. Like, <laughs> Like, what's he gonna do to me, you know? We're on easy mode. He ain't gonna do shit. <laughs> you think you wanted to try homemade, so we made it? So we did it, like, together is what you're saying? On an easy mode, it looks like we just always regain health, too, whenever we're in the, the devil trigger. Whereas on the, uh... On normal mode, we have to be hitting him with the the gun shooting him to regain health so that's another little another little thing to make it easier <laughs> see there's like no strategy to the game at all now it's just <laughs> it's just freaking hit circle until win <laughs> oh, it's, it's so easy i'm so mad man this irritates the heck out of me <clears throat> Oh, well. <clears throat> it's for the good of the stream. Plus, like I mentioned earlier, my brother wants to do the uh, the podcast on Resident Evil, and I'm not going to be able to do that if I don't finish this eventually, so. <laughs> oh, did he not like our necklace? Which part? Me trying this over and over and over again and failing? Or just how ridiculously easy everything is now? <laughs> yeah, we spent over an hour, like an hour, hour and a half, trying to beat him last time. And we did the entire mission in five minutes this time. <laughs> like, <laughs> Oh, both. Ranking bonus 200, boss bonus 500. Well, I guess we'll save. <laughs> so 
So how long the beat says this game is like six to eight hours? At this point, I think we're going to make it to that uh, eight hour mark pretty easily, man. <laughs> Guiding of the soul. Go to the destination before the power of the melancholy soul. Melancholy soul fades away. Okay, so we just gotta be quick. Oh, she's a blazing. It would help if I could like remember at all where I was going exactly. <laughs> I need you to die, please, so I can get the hell out of here. I only got two minutes. Well, like two and a half, but close enough. Uh, Wait, the door's up top, isn't it? Uh, Dante, go up, please. How do I get over there? Look, I know I'm like blind and all. How do I how do I get up there? <laughs> uh Help. <laughs> I don't I honestly don't know how to get up there. Holy shit. Um Okay, this might be a problem. Do we have to maybe we have to go all the way up top? And run around that way or something. Right, yeah, because we can't go up from here. But we can go over here and then... Oh, there's a freaking hole right here. We got it. No worries, we got it. Only took like a minute <laughs> of our limited time that we have. See, why did we even go out there and fight that dude? <laughs> we had the melancholy soul. Or did we trap his soul in the, the thing? Maybe that's... Maybe that's why. Is the door locked? Or can I just leave? It's sealed shut by immense power. There's something written. Path will open with the guiding soul. Yes, use the Mount Gali soul. Dude, that was okay. <laughs> Never mind, Nate. We're good. We figured it out. <laughs> S rank. Hell yeah, look at that. Professional gamer over here. I'm not even gonna save. I'm that confident. <laughs> Defeat the evil guardian and acquire the guiding light. Okay, we can do that. Maybe. You fool. <laughs> Why are you calling me a fool? What I do? That shall be your downfall, <laughs> the not saving. Nah, it's gonna be fine. Have faith. Ooh. I don't know why we got that for just standing there, but uh, I'll take it. Not gonna say no to a free blue orb. Are you crazy? Never miss a save, you should know better. And generally speaking, I feel the same way, but I mean, come on, man. What are they going to do? You saw how easy that Black Knight went down. This reminds me a lot of the first level in the, uh... Hey, speaking of bugs, guys. Uh... <laughs> of the uh, Mortal Kombat game that we were playing, Shaolin Monks, I think it was. All the bugs now. Ah, oh, dude, that one was covered in maggots. That's kind of gross, actually. <laughs> A giant fly covered in maggots? That is insane. Sorry, driving hard to help. <laughs> no worries, Nate. You're all good. Just be safe, man. That's the that's the most most important thing. Yes, what about it? <laughs> what about the, the flies with maggots? Is that what you're what abouting? Because, I don't know, it's just a little gross, man. 
If there's one bug that I actually do find gross outside of cockroaches, it's probably maggots. It's not into them. Oh good, and they're everywhere now. Oh, Shaolin Monks, yeah. The, uh, that area that we were just in reminded me of the first level of Shaolin Monks, that's all. I wasn't saying anything bad about it. Uh, weird red statue. Give us orbs, please. Does it ever break? Okay, I was <laughs> like, is this thing just infinite orb city? I don't... Yeah, you catching my drift now, real? Because I had, like, the, the pipes in the wall and the bars, and it's just kind of similar. Not exactly the same, but kind of similar to that first area in Shaolin Monks. Use the rusty key. Rusty key for a rusty door. Uh, camera, please. So one thing with fixed camera angle games, that's always a little weird, is how they handle controller input whenever the camera changes position. This game is one of the ones where it just keeps you moving whichever way you were moving before. But as soon as you change your directional input at all, it updates to whatever it is now. Or like whatever it should be. Which, generally speaking, I think is the better way to do it, but still feels a little awkward whenever the transition happens. Will you die already, please? Why do you get to go outside the little circle here? I don't get to go outside the circle. Yep, he's dead. <laughs> GG, random boss, dude. Nice. What do we get? The guiding light. A key that shines in our, our, our door. It slowly drains the power of the possessor. Oh. Well, that's not nice. <laughs> Wait, was that the end of it? Oh, shit. Okay. There's that whole hallway we didn't get to go down. You hate the enter key on your keyboard? Besides that and it being stiff, the keyboard is fine. The enter key is weird. Is it just because of like how stiff it is? Is that, is that what's weird about it? It's just weird to me that like one specific key would be worse than the rest, you know? <laughs> you would think they would use like the same switches and everything on all of them. I mean, I guess the uh, like the space bar is usually a bit different because it's so long. It has to have like stabilizing bars. And uh, sometimes like your enter and shift keys and whatnot will too, I think. But nah, it's differently shaped. Really? That's weird. Like, it's not a standard entry key. Huh. I wonder what possessed them to do that. Like, <laughs> why did they randomly decide to make the, the one key on that one different than the rest? Nope. Return to the bedroom before the guiding light absorbs all of your vitality. Oh, Jesus. Okay. So now we got a, another timed thing going the other way. Uh, I mean, just ignore the things, right? Like... They're just here to get in the way, so just don't let them get in the way. Problem solved. Uh, dead end though? Okay. Oh geez, do you see how <laughs> how much it's actually absorbing our, <laughs> our vitality? I feel like that is very slow, man. I do wonder how fast it would be if we were still on normal difficulty. Or, God forbid, like on one of the higher difficulties. I feel like, uh... <laughs> I feel like it would be real weird. Google says that's actually the normal kind of enter key. So wait, what kind of enter key did you have before then? <laughs> now I'm confused, man. Oh, there's vitality drops all over the place too? Bruh, we are fine. There's no worry here at all. Other than other than the fact that like I don't know where I'm going, <laughs> that's one that's one small worry. Like yes, I realized we were just in that room, but uh, 
I've also kind of forgotten. Can you send pics and whisper slash chat? I honestly don't know. I uh, basically never use Twitch's chat function. So maybe? I've got to defeat the enemies first. Okay. Oh, shit. Well, they're dead now, so. <laughs> oh, wait. I, I thought that noise you made meant they were dead. Hey, fly bros. You want to die, maybe? There we go. Was that all of them? Oh, also, I just realized in this easy mode, I don't have to hold R1 to shoot my guns. Like, that actually seems really handy. I feel like it should just be that way all the time. <laughs> like, why make me hold R1 to shoot my guns or dodge roll if you don't have to do it that way, you know? If it's possible to just... To just have it work, like... I, I don't know. I'm a little confused, man. Secret mission, one-eyed evil. Lure them into their mutual death? What? So wait, are you telling me that, like, I can't just kill them? Uh, this might be how we end up dying, though. Oh, they're dead, aren't they? Are they? They're dead. <laughs> oh my lord. Uh, okay. Well, that was a secret mission, guys. <laughs> oh, wait, you failed? What do you mean you failed? They're both dead, aren't they? How did we fail it? I'm confused now. I don't know. Whatever. Alright, so it says that I can't leave until I kill all the enemies. So, kill all these bros. I must have missed one or two last time. Maybe around the corner up here. All right, you're dead. You, if you would just come down here and stop flying around. Uh, not around the corner. Do I have to defeat them in that first area too? Maybe. Maybe that's why. If so, I really wish it would have said something a little bit earlier, or maybe uh. Or maybe told us that? Ah, down the hallway here. Sneaky, sneaky. Got one hiding, maybe. Uh, okay, is that it? I sent one, see if you can open it. I have the second one. The one you're used to is the first one. Okay. Is there another thing around here somewhere? Bruh. <laughs> I've got to defeat the enemy to open the door. What freaking enemy, though? I don't see any enemies. Oh, my God. There was one random one there somewhere. <laughs> That's annoying as shit. Hold on. Grab that fatality. That'll come in handy. Thank you. Also, I'm not drunk. <laughs> With the way I was walking right there, it may have appeared like I was. But, uh, no. It's just because of the way the camera changed, okay? I don't drink alcohol. Are we gonna get to the top here just to be met with another locked door? Or can I just go to the top? It was hiding. It didn't want to die. It knew the fate that was about to become of it. Can we go up the stairs, please? Thank you. Oh. What is this? Okay, I guess we have to uh, do the thingy down here then. Power up the thing and go up the stairs that way. I guess I never tried to run up the stairs before. So I didn't really know if he could or not. The answer appears to be no. <laughs> All right, let me hop on that and then take me up. Okay. So wait. 
I sent you if you can open it. You have the second one. The one you're used to is the first one. I'm, I feel like the first one is the normal one. I don't know who Google's talking about here with that second one being the standard one. But like the ANSI enter, that's the standard enter as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> like, <laughs> that's, yeah, for sure, man. For sure. I see that so much more. I've seen the, the other ones before. The ISO, the the big ass, and the slim ass. <laughs> like, I've seen those before. But, like, the, the ANSI one's definitely the standard as far as I'm concerned. That is so much more common. Maybe the other ones were more common one, at one point in time, but no, nah, no. Nah. You have the second one. Yeah, that's uh, that's weird as shit. <laughs> but I mean, hey, if the worst thing about your keyboard is the fact that the uh, the enter key is a little funky, then you know that's still a pretty decent keyboard. <laughs> it could be a lot worse. It could be missing the enter key entirely, right? <laughs> like, that would kind of suck. Uh, easy auto mode. I'm so... <laughs> I can't believe I <laughs> agreed to do easy auto mode. Ugh. I doubt I'll have time to do it. But uh, if I have time before next Saturday, I may go back and try to beat that boss again on the, the normal save, because... Uh, but I'd have to catch all the way back up to where we're at on stream, or it just wouldn't be uh, wouldn't be worth it anymore. Where? Okay. So we're all the way back here in the beginning. Where are we going? Huh. I feel like maybe we need to go over there. Oh, wait, wait, wait. We have the, the devil mode now. The devil trigger, right? We didn't have the de devil trigger whenever we came through this area before. So maybe now we can lift up that gate. So what I'm thinking? It's a good backup Jeopardy. <laughs> And it's stiffness. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's true. That's true, you did mention that. I guess, uh, personally, I'm just a little used to, to it. I use uh, mechanical switches usually, and they tend to be a bit weightier. Uh, now, I don't use, like, super heavy ones. Mine are razor greens, which are, like, the, the clicky tactile. Kind of comparable to uh, Cherry MX Blues, I want to say, is kind of what they're comparable to. Noodle hates them because, you know, they're loud, but <laughs> I love them. I like the tactile bump. I like being able to hear my, my keys when I'm not blaring music or uh, got my headphones on. Uh, okay, so no, we must want to go through the door. Okay, back down. Oh, you're still alive. Sorry about that, mate. I have no idea what you're talking about, and oh, clackies, I like clackies, <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm talking about, clackies, clacky keys, man, that's how I like my keyboards, I like them loud, I like them clacky, I like to feel when I press the buttons down, feel and hear, you know, get that nice sensory feedback that I'm doing stuff, this is the chain, it's too heavy to lift, even with my strength, what about now, nope, damn it, okay, uh, three openings to insert something. What do I have, key item-wise? Nothing. So where am I going? <laughs> oh, wait, wait, wait. Can I go up here now? There's a ladder, but the lid is closed. I can't go through. No. Okay. So we opened up that new path, and that took us back to the beginning area. But where the hell are we supposed to be going i'm lost i don't know what to do uh okay well there is that other door jesus this camera um there is the other door down here 
I don't remember where all it leads to, but maybe... Maybe there's something there that we can do. All right, yeah, because we can't do anything here until we can get that door open. We're not strong enough to open that gate right there. Uh, Yeah, I don't remember any doors around here. Uh, nothing we can do there. Hmm. Oh, the music was getting good. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to kill it while the music was getting good. I'm just lost. <laughs> I don't know where I'm going or what I'm doing. Noodle. Tell me where to go, Noodle. Surely you're you're a uh, expert on Devil May Cry, right? Honestly, though, Noodle, on easy mode at least, I think you might like Devil May Cry. Like, uh, because, I mean, it's got a word like, right? It's not exactly the same, obviously, but it it's similar in, in, in the, the way the combat works and all of the gore and all that stuff. The relatively simple puzzles that I get stuck on for a long period of time. <laughs> Sorry you were doing math and crafting. What kind of math were you doing? Like, why were you mathing? Dante's Inferno? Yeah, so I mean, even though both characters' names are Dante, they're not related. <laughs> At all. Dante's Inferno is, uh, its own game. The protagonist of this game just happens to be named Dante. But two completely different things. Dante's Inferno, I would say, is more God of War-like than than DMC is, Devil May Cry is. But uh, they're they're both, you know, somewhat God of War-like. Got to uh, add up all the things you need to craft items for your new cat. Oh yeah, that that mobile cat game. She plays this mobile cat game for anyone that doesn't know. Noodle does, and uh, you basically just like spin wheels to to get crafting items and 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 the cats unlock the crafting items over time and you can get like point boost by playing little mini games or something like that i don't know <laughs> i played it a little bit to help her out with it um but like yeah i never uh, i never <laughs> played it that much not even close she's like super into it though she joins, like, clans on there and whatnot to get a bunch of extra shit during events. Because, like, if your whole clan does well, you get extra bonuses or whatever. Like, she's deep into it, man. You finally get in a main Kuno. Well, that's lame comparison, yeah. <laughs> Stream whenever. You're gonna get a main Kuno someday. I don't know why you're always acting like you're never gonna get one. You're definitely going to someday. It's just... We don't need three cats running around the house. Especially when one of them's gonna be a giant. Like, <laughs> the two we have make enough of a mess right now. <laughs> a white queen. That sounds fancy, love. What's a, what's a white queen do? So wait, do we go back through here now, maybe? She did send me the huge list from Sassy Coons. It wasn't loading. The image wasn't, like, uh, loading properly, though, so it's way too blurry for me to actually read it, but... I don't know. I haven't seen it yet. I have to craft it. Oh, well, fair, I guess. Okay, you're dead. Uh... We go back to the throne here. I don't know. <laughs> I'll be honest. We're just running around in circles because I don't know where to go or what I'm doing. Uh, I may end up looking it up <laughs> here soon. Because, like, we, we use the thing to go up top. Was there somewhere that I could have jumped that maybe I was missing? There has to be because we're, we're basically back to where we started this mission at. So there must be somewhere in the beginning of the game that we could have... 
or in that beginning area that we could have went to that I just overlooked or something before I jumped down. Like, I can't think of any other explanation here. But we are, we're gonna run to the end of this area though, just to make sure it's not like over here. And then we're gonna go back to where we started. And if I still haven't found it by then, then yeah, we're just gonna look it up so we don't get stuck on another area. Also, are these guys unlimited or something? Holy shit, just die already, bro. Okay, shotgun dude, you need to go away. Everybody done now? Nope. How about now? There we go. Now they're dead. Okay, this door. I think. Or was it the other door? I think it was the other door. Yeah, it was the other door. Damn it. <laughs> Holy shit, it's been another hour. Has it really been? What time? Yeah, we're getting close to 8 o'clock. Okay. Well, we're gonna wait till... I think we're gonna wait till 8 o'clock my time, and then we'll, uh... Then we'll run the ad. I have a little bit of... I didn't mean to go down here. I have a little bit of time before Twitch is gonna make me run one, so... I'm not that worried about it. It's for the event. Probably the last one I'll be able to craft for this event, because the crafting on this one is brutal. The next event is Little Hummingbird Cats. Aw. Yeah, that's the problem with, I feel like, most mobile games. At some point, they just end up becoming, like... Not necessarily pay to win, but it, it's basically pay to win. And you already spend a lot of time on that game, right? Like, <laughs> it's kind of ridiculous that with as much time as you spend on the game, it's still not enough. You just had to craft a lot of stuff, yeah. But there's such a thing as too much, you know? What's that face for? Did you end up buying stuff on there? <laughs> You ended up paying real money for stuff, didn't you? Ah, you bastards. No, I haven't. <laughs> I can't tell if that's a real no, I haven't, or if that's a, uh, a cheeky no, I haven't sort of deal. Like... <laughs> Die, you freaking skulls. You said I spent a lot of time on the game? Oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, that's... <laughs> that's factually true. There's... <laughs> can't... Uh, no one can argue with that. Like... Basically, every free moment you have is <laughs> spent... <laughs> trying to... To gain supplies and shit to craft on that game. I'm glad it took, a ba took us back to this side, at least. Instead of making us start from the other side again. Because... Yeah. That was, uh... Didn't want to go through that area again if I didn't have to. And we're not going to worry about the marionettes. Alright, so not that door. We've been in there. I don't think there's anything to do in there. Just ignore these enemies. Like, they're just annoying me at this point. Uh, same with all y'all. Like, I, I don't care. What, what are y'all going to do? You're just orb fodder for me at this point. Only money you spent was 99 cents of Google reward money when you first started to get the starter kitties. I mean, as with, with as much time as you've spent on the game, and since it's a free game, like, spending a little bit of money on it I don't think is a big deal. It's just as long as it doesn't become, uh... become a problem, you know, where you're spending all kinds of money on it all the time just to try to keep up with with everybody else and everything that's going on that's whenever you know it's kind of ridiculous um yeah i don't know oh jesus there's a platform straight across there man <laughs> i am so blind holy crap and i guarantee you that's the end of the mission yep Look at that. <laughs> the legendary knight returns. We get to fight him again. Oh, wait. We didn't get a save? Why didn't we get a save option? Activate the mechanism and escape from the rooftop? Uh... Okay. Ooh. That's a cool-looking door. 
I will take the red orby orbs, please. And thank you. Another cool looking thing up there. Is this a... It's a power-up station. Uh, I mean, we might as well pick up some stuff, right? Like, throw the sword like a boomerang. Yes, please. That sounds pretty cool. Air hike? Uh, oh, we should have bought that one instead. I'm a dumbass. Because the, the air hike lets us do the double jump. That was dumb. I totally should have unlocked that one first. Oh, well. Come airborne. Yeah, we'll, we'll unlock the other stuff later. I'm very upset with myself. <laughs> I can't believe I <laughs> forgot about the air hike. How do we do our, our new moves? We should look at that real quick. Uh, Not that. Devil trigger? No. Roll? No. Kick? Jump? High time? Is it not going to tell us? Or maybe it's Alistair. Maybe it's under the Alistair thing. Alistair. Round trip. There we go. Uh, hold down the circle button. The longer the hold, the longer the distance. Okay. Come airborne and press R1 button while jumping in devil trigger state. Press X or square to strike electrocution. So hold, press R1 while jumping. Okay, I'm probably gonna, <laughs> I'm probably gonna fuck that up somehow. Okay, so yeah, just, it's a boomerang, cool. 10 bucks a month, ridiculous. Yes, I agree. It's a mobile game, make it like $2, yeah. I mean, like, even like, I don't know, two ninety nine dollars or something even wouldn't be too, too bad, I guess. But, I don't know. I'm not a big mobile game person either. That's why, like I was saying, with the with the side project that I'm working on, I don't even know if I want to release it on mobile. Even though I, I most likely could. Between working on getting everything with, like, touch screens working well, between that and, uh, and just not personally really caring for mobile games, I'm very iffy about actually doing it. Didn't I already kill you twice? Black Knight's gonna come down and kill it in one go. One swoop. Ah! Jump on his back, please. You know what? Screw it. Just, <laughs> just go into devil mode. And then smack him in the face until he's dead. <laughs> uh, hit him, please, before we run out of devil meter. Devil trigger, whatever the hell it's called. And dead. <laughs> Lava spider, just go away. For the last time. Go away. Ooh. Okay. I think he might actually be dead this time. Maybe. Took you long enough to figure that out. Yeah. <laughs> uh, close. Not quite, but you know. I'm his son, Dante. Sweet dreams. Poor guy. I'm kind of gonna miss him. <laughs> we had some fun times, you know. Him trying to kill me in the cathedral. Him trying to kill me in the hallway. Him trying to kill me on the rooftop. Like. Defeated the Phantom. Incredible power. Yeah. What can I say, lady? I'm the best. <laughs> Get used to it. Hey, more orbs. Not enough to get us to 4,000, though. And then... Now do we fight the Black Knight? Was that like our, our pre-boss boss? <laughs> and now we get a we get to have the real fight again. Uh what is this? Trident? Is this another weapon for us? A heavily decorated three-pronged pike that's used for rituals. It can be not cannot be used as a weapon, so that's a no. Okay. The fuck does she say? I couldn't hear. She just said uh he defeated the phantom incredible power. 
That's all she said. Yeah, you didn't really miss anything. <laughs> uh, okay. I didn't know we could just jump on that horse's head like that, but uh, <laughs> the game kind of did that for me, so <laughs> that works. All right, I don't see anything else here. Down the hole we go. Uh, down, down the hole. Oh, I have to click on it with X. Okay. <laughs> that works too, I guess. Uh, do we, I guess we just spin the thing. It's a lever used to wind up the drawbridge. It's heavily rusted. A strong downward force may help move the lever. Uh, oh, you mean hit it with a sword? <laughs> there we go. That works. Hey. Ooh, okay, okay, okay. So wait, that was that room that we've been to a couple times. It's a corpse of a soldier who must have wandered into the castle and died from exhaustion. He's holding something. Grenade gun? What? <laughs> Fires exploding shells of shrapnel. Extremely destructive. Okay, then. Uh... But yeah, okay, so this is going to take us down into that room with the ladder that we haven't been able to get up from. And then we can use the trident. It's too heavy to lift, even with my strength. Three openings. Put the trident in it. <laughs> okay. Oh, it spins a water wheel, and the water wheel lifts the thing. There we go. Now we're making progress. Uh, excuse me? <laughs> Was that supposed to be, like, a trap for somebody? Like, 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 they unlock the thing and it's like, ha, now you're stuck here, never to escape. Like, even a normal human, I'm pretty sure, could fit through that gap right there. Like, I don't, I don't think you gotta have Dante's jumps to be able to get through that one, man. But I don't know. <laughs> That's kind of... That's kind of great. Uh, look, marionettes, at this point, like, I'm kind of sick of your shit. Like, <laughs> you don't pose a threat anymore, man. I'm sorry. But, like, look, you're kind of a joke. Everyone's laughing at you. Just, uh, maybe, maybe go somewhere else that's not, not here in my face. Uh, that's the wrong room. <laughs> Look, sometimes I don't remember the door I just came through, okay? We've all been there, right? Like, you go through a door, and then you just kind of forget what door you went through a moment ago because you're fighting giant marionette monsters that have kind of sort of came to life for one reason or another. Like, don't tell me you haven't been there. <laughs> Everybody's done that at least once. Is that the end of the mission? It is. Excellent. All right. It's not quite 8 o'clock, but it's close enough. So we are going to go ahead and take probably our last break for the night, guys. Uh, and then we're going to come back and play a little bit more of Devil May Cry. I'm hoping to be able to finish this next week. And uh, with as easy as things have been going on, well, on easy mode, uh, <laughs> I see that probably happening. So awesome. I hope y'all are enjoying it. I know I certainly am. I wish uh, Nate could see a little bit more of it, considering he was the one that really wanted to see it happen. But, uh, man's gotta work, I suppose. But yeah, so we'll be right back, guys. Give me just, like, a minute or two to stretch out. Maybe get a quick drink, and then we'll be back to it. That it was a Christmas game, Mr. Real said. If it was less than that, then it was a birthday game. I mean, either way, whatever. I just thought you got it for me, and I couldn't remember for sure, but... Yeah. Oh, I forgot to do the, the ad in the beginning before everything started, but the auto-ad, uh... Twitch thing. Should have, yeah, it took care of that. That's fine. Just means we had pre-rolls turned on a, a little longer than I would have liked, probably, but hey, Leo, it's not the end of the world. From a standing start, take three consecutive corners, left, right, and left. Rather than going full out on the first two corners, figure out how to get out of the third corner smoothly by hitting the gas for a, a fast time. Take the line that puts you in the best shape for getting out of the last corner. Gaining speed on the following long straightaway is more important than anything else. So it's saying... Go slow around the corner if necessary to get a bunch of speed coming out of it on the last straightaway. Okay. Okay. I can dig it. 
how well does this car handle? I started turning a little too early. Um, and if we go off track for too long, it's going to penalize us. Okay, so far, so good. One of the weird things about this game, um, because the PS2 has the whole thing with uh, the pressure-sensitive face buttons, you're actually able to just barely press down on X to barely press down on the throttle. And uh, I, it works. Like, don't get me wrong. It does work. But not pressing the X button all the way down feels wrong, you know? <laughs> it just doesn't feel right to me at all. It's nice that it's a feature for racing games. Because you can technically, like, more smoothly accelerate. Or, you know, just instead of fluttering the throttle around these turns, you can uh, just more gently press the, the accelerator to get, to get around them more smoothly, things like that. But um, I, uh, I struggle with it, man. Because I always just want to mash it down 24-7. We are doing so much better than our ghost. I don't think we're going to place well, but we should at least get bronze. Yeah, we did. 36.2! Let's go, boy. You like Gran Turismo also? It definitely has the peak when it comes to realism and such, especially in the newer ones. You're just more into street racing normally. Yeah, that, yeah, and nothing wrong with that, man. I love all the customization options that you get a need for speed um, and street racing games in general. Okay. We're back. See, I wasn't gone too long, guys. We're okay. Oh, boy. I wonder how many missions there actually are. I looked up, like I've mentioned, I've looked up the how long to beat for Devil May Cry. And uh, for the main plus extras, I think it was roughly eight hours, if I remember correctly. But I never actually looked up, like, how many missions there are. So I don't know, like, how far along we actually are in the game. We are on mission what? Next. Should tell us here. You were gone forever? I don't think I was. <laughs> I mean, pretty sure... It was only like two, maybe three minutes, but are there in Devil May Cry 1? 20. There's 20 missions. Okay, yeah, so we're already halfway through the game, almost. Uh, we would be well over halfway through the game if it weren't for, you know, trying to beat that boss forever. So, yeah, I, I, think, <laughs> I think there's a really good chance that we uh <laughs> we complete the game next week on saturday man and then i don't know what we're gonna do for the rest of the time that night whether we start another game or maybe we'll just do a random ps2 game for the gauntlet i haven't really decided but but yeah it, it's feeling like we're probably gonna have some extra time next week unless these uh second half of these missions take much longer than the first half <laughs> There's a message carved in the circle. The Wheel of Destiny shall guide you to the land of the beginning. What? The Wheel of Destiny shall guide you to the land of the beginning? What the hell does that mean? I ran out of to tokens, stupid white queen. How many tokens do you need? Of course, even then, that wouldn't really help me because I don't know how many tokens, like you get like or how long it takes to get a token i guess uh nothing interesting here okay you don't know question mark a lot <laughs> message carved in the stone it seems to be a story destiny awaits somewhere deep in the coliseum wait is is that the whole story well that's kind of a shitty story just <laughs> just destiny awaits somewhere in the coliseum huh okay <laughs> i guess I guess that's a, I guess that's a thing. You've been watching, just not able to interact with? Hey, no problem, man. I was just hoping you were able to see uh, most of what's been going on because, you know, you wanted to see it. You were the number one requester of DMC. Gotta play the minigame you hate most to get them and get them from basket spins. Which one's the one you hate most? Describe the minigame to us. Worm? No. Uh, underground werewolves? I don't... Are they... 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 Were moles? <laughs> what the hell are these? The lizard people, man. Not the lizard people. 
They're gonna take over the world. <laughs> oh no. Okay, I should probably I should probably be at least a little bit careful, but I'm just like <laughs> I was kinda just kinda surprised whenever they showed up, that's all. Like I was not expecting uh lizard people and my devil may cry. It's amazing to me how little of this game I remember from whenever I beat it forever ago. Uh, yes, please. And I, I wonder what difficulty I had beat it on. I feel like I probably beat it on normal mode back then, but I don't know. Maybe I took a cop out then, too. <laughs> Poppy cat? What? Don't pop the cat. You make the cat heads as big as you can by collecting cat heads. You're so bad at it. Have you shown me that one before? Have I ever helped you with that one or played that one? Because I, I definitely do not remember it. And I don't know why I don't remember it. There's a decoration resembling two knights. It appears as though the knight should be holding something. Where is a card? Beneath the something, the shields that glow with light and a pair of lances shall lead to the battleground. Okay. I'm sure that's something that we'll need to do at some point. Uh, there's a shield here. There was a shield on the other side. I guess we could try hitting those and see what happens. Also, random runway. Is it, uh, hmm. Okay, suddenly this opened up a lot, and I don't know where to go. Sealed shut from the other side. Okay, so we're not going there. We know that much. <laughs> what is this? Holy water. Thank you. I shall take that. Yeah, I, I played once. Remember, I was so excited to finally score 500 on it. Vaguely. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so it's like it's like a match three game, but whenever you match them, instead of them just disappearing, the cat head gets larger. And then whenever they all... Or whenever you just click on it, it blows up and takes out all the ones around it. I remember now. There's a message carved into the giant stone tablet. This is where blue light is sealed. Oh, I mean, like, literally, just a blue orb fragment. Okay. <laughs> Thanks, game. Random gravestone. It's like a Legend of Zelda up in here. You want to make the head as big as possible. Is that how you scored the 500? Just by getting one head as big as possible instead of, like, spreading it out between multiple? Okay, what's over here? Okay, this is the, the red shield. Can we do anything with you? There's an emblem of a shield on the door that's glowing with red light. Okay, can't seem to do anything with it, though, so that's not helpful. We couldn't do anything with this one yet. What about the blue one? <laughs> emblem of a shield on the door that's glowing with blue light. Yes, I understand this. How do I get through them? All right, there's this door. Words are carved here. A pair of flames that dwell with strength will open the path. Oh, so I have to light this other one on fire. Okay, and I don't have any. I don't have any fire stuff that I oh, that I know of. So I guess the only thing to do is go through the giant open gate. <laughs> I'm sure. I'm sure nothing bad will happen inside this giant gate it's definitely not going to close behind us and force us to fight some uh weird enemy of some sort maybe a giant spider who knows <laughs> up and up and up we go uh i feel like i want to go this way first actually you got this oh man i know i ain't even worried devil star Thank you. Didn't I already have a Devil Star? I did. Oh, so it'll only let me buy one at a time, but the game will let me actually carry however many I can find. Okay. Giant gates are always the way? Yeah, something like that. Um, Can I get up there? Or... No, if I had the air step, I bet I could get up there. But I feel like... uh, I don't know. Maybe once we hit the... Because there was the thing that I completely ignored over here the 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 thing that we hit like 16 times and it'll do something 
Maybe it'll lower it down. And we won't need the double jump? Nope. Okay. That just laid out a bunch of paths. That, I mean, I guess that works too. <laughs> Would have been easier if it just lowered down that one thing for us there, but you know. Fine. Uh, nope, not that way. Shit. <laughs> you can do it. Thank you, Rue. I appreciate all you guys always giving me kind words. And thank you, Noodle. I appreciate the five bits. Y'all are the best, honestly. I appreciate you all. Hanging out with me while I play video games and shit. I really do appreciate it. Uh, okay. Oh, man. This game is not, like... <laughs> Made for platforming. <laughs> oh, buddy. Alright. We got this. Uh, okay, jump. And, oh, this one's going fast. Okay. Okay, that was almost bad. We got it. G freaking G. That wasn't that bad. <laughs> I get held hostage to do so. You do not, you creep. Someday someone's going to believe you, and I'm going to get in trouble for your shenanigans. <laughs> you kidding? I love spending time with you guys. Honestly, like I said, I really do appreciate you being here. All of you. You know, Nate, Noodle, uh, you, Rue, whenever anybody else shows up, Kane's my brother, whoever, like, the Dorseman, the Dorse Lady, y'all are the best. My name is Ifrit. Fool who awakens me shall pay dearly with fires of hell. Ooh. So, look, we murder you. We steal your power of fire. And then I can open that other gate, right? Or wait, do we not even have to kill you? Do we just get firepower now? I mean, I guess maybe if we were mortal, that would have killed us or something. But like... <laughs> but we know mortal, so... A flaming gauntlet that gives the possessor increased power. So our... Oh... So that's like a new weapon. I was kind of hoping it would just make our sword better, but now we have a new a new devil power. Instead of devil trigger, we have flaming hands. <laughs> I mean, we got to we got to go into devil trigger now and see what happens. Okay, so this is like the the slow, bulky but powerful dude, and Alistair is like the the fast, strong or the 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 hits a lot of times, but not as hard type character. Okay. Fine, I don't get hostage blinks twice. So. Oh, I love you so much. <laughs> I just want everyone to know that I love her so, so much. <laughs> oh. Those are awesome gauntlets. Thanks, man. I made them myself. Not really. <laughs> love you too. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I probably just have Stockholm Syndrome. Are you the human? The son of Sparta who challenges the darkness for this. Yep. Fuck off, Featherface. Or you can stick around and find out the hard way. Oh, okay. Now we have to fight a giant bird. Do we just shoot it? Like, I don't know how to deal damage to it here. Honestly. I like Dante. Dante is pretty sick. No, I want to jump game. I don't want to... <laughs> I don't want to dodge roll in this instance. Oh, wait. Can we hit him now? Punch him. Let me... Let me punch him. Okay. Well, that works too, I guess. Just... Or just don't. Oh, my lord. We're going to die. <laughs> I can't... Why am I so bad? Oh, wait. Grenade launcher. We got that grenade launcher. Oh, yeah, let's do that. Grenade, oh, sorry, grenade gun, guys. It's not a grenade launcher. <laughs> there we go. This should hopefully deal some damage, right? Okay. So, yes, but it's also slow as shit. So, I mean, there's that. Does, does, does punching do anything to the bird? I mean, kinda. I feel like, I feel like, uh, shooty McShoot is the way to go with it here, though. Okay, get the shots off fast. Bruh. This boss on hard mode, or on normal mode, I guess, or whatever, would have been a freaking pain in the ass. I, <laughs> I know that much. 
Uh. Okay. I feel like we should have been hit there, to be honest with you. Uh, maybe get out the way. Are we? No, where? Where is the bird? <laughs> I can't see the bird. I would like if the game would like to show me the bird, please. Thank you. Uh, well, whatever. Honestly, like at this point, I ain't even worried. <laughs> This dude's so close to dead, and we've taken so little damage comparatively, that like, yeah. And the, the hitbox on those lasers is apparently jank as hell. You're dead, bird. GG. Nice knowing ya. You looked cool. But, uh, yeah. You ain't got shit on Dante. Yes, and we got over 4,000. Hopefully, I don't fuck it up again, and this time we actually get the air step. Uh, <laughs> I mean, that works too, Dante. You can ju just shoot the the freaking torch with a, a rocket launcher or a, a grenade launcher. Oh, that's not the end of it? Really? I'm surprised. Okay, this mission is definitely longer than the other ones. I'm more of a, generally speaking, I'm more of a fast striker type dude, so I think I like the sword better as far as, like, actual playing goes. But, uh, I like the animations, like, the, the punching and then the way he, like, brings his foot up and then does the... <laughs> oh, fuck. Ah, excuse me. Uh, and then does the, like, uh, spin kick and shit. Like, it's pretty cool. Hello, door. Uh, okay. There's a... This is an upgrade, dude, right? Can I just buy the... I can. Air hike! Let's go! Double jump. Dope. What can we buy with Ifrit? Magma drive. Charge power and release it in the form of a magma uppercut. That's cool. Kick 13, level 1. It's a weird name. A quick but powerful flaming back roundhouse kick. Its impact will drive the enemy back. Rolling blaze, surround the body in flame and damage enemies upon contact. And then inferno, create a wall of fire and burn everything within range. Okay, that sounds pretty sick, man. I ain't gonna lie. Them Ifrit gauntlets are pretty cool. Ain't hey, nothing else to do here. Oh, <laughs> just bring our foot down on him. Sorry, I was looking at the, the charge up attack. <laughs> Hello, marionette dudes. Do y'all want to play? Uh, stop focusing on that one. Focus on the one on the ground, bro. The one that you actually stand a chance of hitting, maybe? <laughs> oh my god, he really wants to fight this one up here. There you go. You happy now, Dante? You got that one. <laughs> Jeez. Uh, okay, nothing back there. What's this door want? 200 red orbs. I mean, that, that was easy enough, I guess. I'm glad I didn't spend literally, like, all of our orbs, though. That would have been kind of embarrassing. Spend all of them right before we needed them to get through a door. Was that the end of the mission? Yes, okay. Mission clear. 15 minutes. Orbs, 741. We are orb masters. Uh, yeah. Might as well. Overwrite data. That's... Was that mission 10, or are we on mission 10 now? Either way, we're about halfway through the game at this point, then. As far as mission counts go. Obviously, some missions take longer than others, so... Come out of the Labyrinth Canyon alive. We'll try our best. Wait, how do I do the second jump? I bought it. 
I did buy it, right? <laughs> Actions. Can we only do it whenever we have... Devil Trigger turned on or something? High time. Alistair? Round trip. Air hike. Yeah, okay. So we can only do it with Alistair equipped and uh, possibly activated. So if I switch back to Alistair. Equip that. Can we do it just all the time? We can. Okay, so that's just like a thing that we can do now. That's pretty cool. I hope the Ifrit Gauntlets have something kind of equivalent. Just for the for the mobility, you know? But if not, then I mean, whatever. It's not that hard to switch weapons around. You had plans to read? You never did read? Why don't you read now, love? What book are you reading right now anyways, if you don't mind me asking? Is it uh, another one of your Court of Thorns and Roses books, or are you on a different series? It's a riddle of some kind. Valley of the Mist. One must choose the right path. To enter the lost land, only those who protect the weak light shall have the power to decipher the right path. What? <laughs> so follow the light? Okay. We can follow the light. <laughs> A Court of Silver Flames? That's Well, that's in your, your series though, right? The Court of Thorns and Roses series? That's what I was trying to ask, like... Yes? Okay, good. So I thought so, but... Sometimes I am forgetful. As you should well know by now. You can die if you want, bro. Ow, your scissors are rude. Okay, so left this time. I wanted to collect the things I couldn't leave behind. Is this just going to say the same thing every time? Valley of the Mist one might... Yeah, okay. No, I don't want to read it again, game. Stop. I could kill the last dude, or I could just go. So I'm just going to go. So is it like a gauntlet of en enemies every time we... uh? Every time we make the right choice, it's the same area, but we're just fighting different enemies now. I mean, I, I get it. That's an easy way to make the game a bit longer without uh, spending money developing new levels, so. <laughs> Smart on the game developer's side, I, I, I suppose. Can y'all just die? These freaking mole people got some some health, bro. Rocket launcher to the face. How does that feel? <laughs> Look at that AOE damage, man. Oh, no. I think this is like the first time we've actually been below half health. Do they just spawn forever? Like, holy shit. Okay. Here's what we're going to do, right? We're going to pretend you don't exist and just run past you. Because you're not stopping. Hey! I think we made it. Hey, look! That's Spider Bro. <laughs> We're also about to die. We should probably <laughs> go into the devil mode just to uh, do the devil trigger to regain a little bit of health. Are you going to drop health by any chance? That would be incredibly useful if you did. You're going to drop absolutely nothing instead. That's fine. <laughs> we'll just get our own health then. Why are there so many damn spiders? Probably because so many people don't like spiders and they got to fuck with you. <laughs> it's got to be edgy and cool, man. I'll take green orb for 100, Alex. Thank you. And through the door we go. Beautiful. Well, fuck them then. <laughs> Fair. Fair, Rue. Can't argue with that.
How long, if you remember, Noodle, how long was the first court of Thor Thorns and Roses book? I want to get back into reading. I want to try to find some time to read. Um, and I, I have a book that I'm in the middle of, so I'd need to finish that one first. But after that, I need to, I need to decide the next book. And I know you've been wanting me to read those, so, you know. So I wouldn't mind giving them, giving them a shot soon. Mission 11, Fate. Offer the chalice and open the path. Uh, okay. What does that mean? Also, random Reaper, bro. That I feel like I can't hit. Get down here. <laughs> Just keep jumping above him and slashing him, I guess. Like, uh, where'd he go? Oh, is he, like, got a hold of me right now? What is... I don't know. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> I just kept randomly being lifted up into the air. Like... Okay, now I'm not... <laughs> I don't... I'm so confused here. Why am I just... What keeps pushing me up in the air? What the hell? All right, well, he's dead now, so... GG, I guess, man. <laughs> that was weird. That was a weird-ass fight. All right, there's some stuff. Can I collect this stuff, maybe? I uh, can't seem to break glass. Glass is uh, obviously stronger than Dante. Ooh, there's another star. We'll take the star... Okay, Dante. Go up the freaking <laughs> thing, Dante. Thank you, man. Sorry, popping cats. That sounds wrong. <laughs> like, that sounds very, very wrong, Noodle. <laughs> uh, wasn't too long, but you don't remember how long. Fair enough. So I haven't decided exactly what book, but I, I think I'll probably give that one a shot next. Although I do really want to read the next Witcher book, too. So, there's that. Hey, Blue Orb. Alright, anything else from this area that we are missing? I don't think so. Uh, I didn't mean to jump down there, but... <laughs> I guess that's what we're doing. And big surprise, underground, there are more mole people. Kind of sounds like one of my two nightmares. I can remember where I popped a beaver's head. Ew. That sounds gross. <laughs> you mean like in a dream, or is that something that you accidentally did in real life? I, I'm pretty sure you mean in a dream. <laughs> I'm sincerely hoping you mean in a dream, at least. I'm done with you mole people. Goodbye. <laughs> a nightmare? Yeah, well, I mean, that's fair. Yeah. Dream nightmare. You know what I meant. Sign of chastity. A taxidermic organ coated by crystal within it is the sign of chastity that's necessary for searching the chalice. Okay, so we got a thing. I don't know where to put the thing or what to do with the thing, but we got a thing, so feel like that's good. That's progress. <laughs> also, mole people really suck. Just, I'm going into death mode. That's fine. Just die. Y'all done now? Did you learn your lesson? Mole people need to stay underground where they belong, okay? Ah, another blue orb fragment. They're just giving them things away like candy now, aren't they? Left and right, man. You find them everywhere. Okay, this is where I was trying to go. I wanted to see if I could read this. Those without the sign are not worthy to possess the chalice. Walk the dark path towards the light of sorrow. The sign is confined in the cages of doom. Walk the dark path? What? All these big words I don't understand. 
I also want this, please. Why is it not giving it to me? I was close enough. Uh, jump up there. Oh, okay. It's just going to take me to it. Wait, what? What? <laughs> Why no give it to me? What is going on? Uh, is it just taking me around in circles? You were in a local creek on a floating dock. And this beaver was attacking me. So I like grabbed it by the neck, not hard or anything in your dream, but like just to keep it from biting me and its head just popped and a bunch of creek water poured out. It was weird as fuck. Like, yeah, obviously. <laughs> what the hell, dude? That is weird as shit. I can't say I've ever had a dream anything like that before. Uh... All right, uh, I think I saw out of the corner of my eye here somewhere. Yeah, there's that platform floating right there. Can I maybe get to that one? Oh, no, we've been here before. That had something else in it. Okay. Well, there's the door up here, so let's just go through the door, I guess. When in doubt, go through the freaking door. How about that? This isn't the door we already came through, is it? Oh, big jumps. Oh, do you want the chastity balls? <laughs> and here my nightmares consist of an abandoned old McDonald's because Ronald became a vampire. That sounds like a cool uh, a fanfic right there or something, man. That's a cool little story. Statue of a Gold Knight looks like something was placed here. Uh, Okay, so wait, does the chastity ball not go there? So what what goes there then? Also, why can I not jump? I don't. Uh, ah, here we go. There's a cup on the base protected by a powerful light. Prove yourself. Use the sign of chastity. Use the sign of chastity. And chalice, the cup which held the blood of the divine dead. So now do we kill the divine dead? You actually started looking forward to that dream when you got older? Hey, look, dickhead's back. Yeah, Noodles told me about that second one before. It's uh, it's not great. <laughs> Feel a little bad for her on that one, you know? Especially since it was like her childhood cat that she uh, adored deeply. Uh, if you just want to die, Mr. Dark Knight guy, that'd be cool. Stop blocking! Accept your fate! Yes! Go down! Ah, uh, no, he hit us! Ah! Uh. Okay, <laughs> he hit us again. Stop hitting us, please. <laughs> Maybe the Ifrit gauntlets would uh, come in handy here. Because they do do more damage, but they are a bit slower, so I don't know. Let's try them out anyways. Let's go for it. Uh, okay, I'm already regretting it. <laughs> oh yeah, no, that definitely outputs more damage. It's just, uh, just slow as shit is the problem. So can't really, like, dodge all that well with it. Ah, uh, that's a good combo, though, whenever we go into the devil mode. Because we take so much less damage, we can just kind of stand here and wail on him while wearing it. Hell yeah. Is he actually dead now, or do I have to fight this dude again? Is he about to be the spider all over again? Hmm, okay. Okay. Something tells me he may not be dead dead. 
Alright, I'm guessing that's where we put the chalice. Where uh where we went the first time but couldn't couldn't drop the things. The real question is how do we get back up there? I guess not like that, because it didn't let me do the second jump. Okay. Hello game. Oh, we're not wearing the freaking or we don't have Alistair equipped. That's why we can't <laughs> do the, the second jump. Yes, please, equip that. There we go. Alright, maybe now we can make it over to there. Really, game? Game? Oh. Why do you hate me, game? There we go. That's all I was trying to do, for goodness sakes. Statue of a Gold Knight. It looks like something was placed here. Should I use the chalice? Yes. Very dramatic door opening. Check. Alright, go back down now, I'm guessing. That door is still blocked. Can't go that way. But if we can get out of this area, down to here. Uh, and let's not go back up again. <laughs> Maybe let's just go for the door. I think that's a better idea. Hey, another mission down. Devil Hunter rank C, ranking bonus 200. Cool, cool, cool. And yeah, we'll do a save. Definitely overwrite. All right, I think we got enough time to do at least one more mission, man. My head's starting to hurt. I'm getting really tired. So I don't think we're going to make it till nine, but we are going to do one more mission. Before we call it a night. And before this turns into like a two hour mission or something. <laughs> Go to the deck and head to the captain's cabin. Wait, what? There's a ship all of a sudden? Underwater controls? What the hell? Ugh. <laughs> Underwater controls. You cannot use your devil trigger. Triangle is swim. Circle. It quickly changes the view to the direction that the left analog stick is being pressed. X and square check. That's move. Change direction up and down inverse. When you have the underwater gun equipped, press... What? <laughs> Game, why are you doing this to me? <laughs> I'm very confused. I don't remember asking for an underwater section. Oh, you guys again. Oh, dang, that socks, man. <laughs> that socks, man. I know what you meant, Nate. It's all right. I I'm fairly certain it's just a cold. But uh, Noodle found out that she was likely exposed to COVID. Um, and is no longer allowed to return to work until she gets a negative test because she has COVID symptoms, or has been for a couple days. And, uh, yesterday I started developing some, sadly. But, I, again, I don't think either one of us actually had COVID, though. I think it's just, uh, I think it's just a cold. Hope you feel better, maybe foods will help. I, I, I mean, I am pretty hungry, I will say that much, like... <laughs> I don't think, uh, I don't know if it'll make me feel better per se, but at the very least, it'll taste good. <laughs> some, some pizza with some, oh, oh no, wait a second. We're in first person view. Oh, this is gross. This is really gross. Oh, this is making me nauseous. Holy shit, that's bad. That is a bad first person camera <laughs> oh no <laughs> oh i get motion sickness way too easy this is not helping oh i hope this isn't too bad <laughs> i mean i can door dash for you if uh 
Yeah, we may end up half no Oh, God. I don't have the underwater gun or whatever. Did did we unlock the underwater gun and it just didn't tell me? No. No, we didn't. Okay. Uh, anyways, yeah. We got we got food right now, but yeah, we may end up having to take you up on that offer because uh, we're going to be stuck at home for a couple days. At least now the quarantine's only five days instead of uh, a week, two weeks or whatever, so... Hopefully we'll get our test back before then and just they'll be negative and then we'll be, you know, a-okay there, but... Yeah, we'll see. Can do, buddy. Appreciate you, man. Yo, fair, yeah. Yeah! Oh, wait, wait, up, 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 up. There we go, we can just get out of the water, that's even better. That's even better. Um... Okay. Chest? I'm kinda surprised we can't break open the chest. Someone, not naming any names, is probably gonna run out of drinks. I'm already out of the drinks that I like. <laughs> I'm, I'm drinking my, my backup ones now. My, my, um... Uh, water flavor packets. <laughs> I didn't expect to be stuck at home for a few days, so I didn't buy any extra drinks or anything like that you know because since i work at a retail store at a grocery store i uh i usually just kind of buy what i need for the next day or two <laughs> whenever i get off work devil star and the underwater gun needle gun is what it's called the only weapon that can be used underwater i mean i guess we should probably go ahead and equip that then can it still be used above water oh Okay, no. And I'm assuming it just automatically switches then to to it whenever we're, we're underwater. That kind of makes the most sense. Oh, fuck. Captain? Oh, Captain, my Captain? Maybe? Nope. Oh, there's a big blue X on that. So we probably gotta do something to unlock that then. Uh, go up maybe? Nope. I'm surprised I can't climb that. Oh, oh. Well, I may not be able to climb it, but I can jump up it. There better be some shit up here. Oh, there's no way, man. Wait, will it not let me fall? It won't let me fall. Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> I was trying to be so careful because I thought I was going to fall off there for sure. But no, the game just, uh, <laughs> the game won't actually let me fall. Perfect. <laughs> I like that. That's like one of my, my ways I die the most on God of War is because I'm falling off of stupid platforms like that. So, if the game wants to not let me do that, that's actually fine. Maybe make some tea. Maybe tea will make you feel better. Actually, a glass of tea does feel... A cup of tea does feel great. Sound amazing is what I meant to say. I think I shall do that. I'll have tea with my with my pizza. <laughs> tea and pizza. A little bit of a weird mix. But you know what? Don't care. That's what's going to happen. Warm sweet tea sounds good right now. I don't drink mine particularly sweet, but yeah, exactly. Um, I'm also a big fan of the fact that it's letting us jump through these platforms a little bit. Also a big fan of that. Because it's making getting up here so much easier. Is it just me or is there something clipping through the wall there? That yellow light. It's locked shut, there's something written. I am the ship that carries the wandering souls to the brink of the underworld. Protect the ship and you shall be given the fire of St. Elmo. Oh, were you what was clipping through the wall? <laughs> Hi, friendo. I don't like these platforms that it keeps putting under my feet. <laughs> It's weird as shit. Oh, that's right. I have the whole electric thing. I forgot I can fly now. 
Uh, we can turn that off. Is that all the protecting we had to do? Elmo? Elmo's fire? You didn't know? Elmo's like a Daedric prince. <laughs> oh, well, guys. <laughs> Looks like we're going to hell. Now you're going to have to make tea when I get home? Yes. Tea is always the right. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Uh, T is always the right option, is what I was trying to say. Elmo chugs along like a train. What the fuck? Do 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 do. Elmo's world. That's all I know of Elmo. That and apparently there's a a, a noodle from Elmo, and that's where Mr. Noodle gets their name from. <laughs> Shit, you okay, man? I'm fine. Don't worry about me. If it does end up being COVID, it won't be my first go at it. Sadly, Noodle and I did have it one other time. So, like, I know what to expect. And we're fully vaccinated. And the worst part is, if we do have it, we just got boosted, like, three weeks ago or something like that. So, like, we should be at pre peak protection levels right now, honestly. That's another reason why I don't think we actually have COVID. Um, because, yeah. Like, we're vaccinated, we're boosted, and we've had COVID already, so. But I don't know. I guess it's possible, though. Weirder shit certainly happened to people. Uh, why can I not shoot this bird? What is. Oh, we got, like, a fake version of the bird that we're fighting? What is... What is going on here? I don't like you, bird. I just want you to know this. Holy... Fuckballs. Kill the bird! <laughs> is the bird dead? I think the fake bird's dead, at least. <laughs> Uh, okay, so the... I, I don't know how to fight the fake bird. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. There's a good reason, though, Noodle. Streamlabs, three times Cobro? Wait, what? Where did that come from? <laughs> he made me get poked three times. There better not be any more poking. Noodle is done with the poking. There's a good reason, though, Noodle. Is it because you said three in, like, caps or something? What is up with that? I have no idea why Streamlabs suddenly said 3x combo. But, uh... Thanks? <laughs> Seriously, Nate? So, wait, like... That's weird. Like, I wonder why it says... Because it had it, like, both on the... The app and the website said they were closed. So, I wonder, like... What the hell that's about, you know? Uh, jump and then freaking shoot things with lightning. Oh my lord, this lightning is powerful as shit. Holy crap, do you see that? That took out that bird like it was nothing, man. Okay, so now we know. Lightning is OP as hell, apparently. All right. <laughs> Stream Labs. I'm just curious now. 3x combo. How do you get chat combos? Oh, it's a chat combo. Uh. What? Emote combo? No. That's not what I want. I'm so confused, man. Like, what is that? Huh. I'm really confused where that 3x combo came from. Sorry. <laughs> was it me typing something three times? I don't know. Was it? Uh, I mean, it's not doing anything now. Oh, wait. There it is. 
There it is. Okay, so it must be like how many... How many messages you get in a row before someone breaks your combo or something? I don't know. I don't know. That's very weird. <laughs> oh, fuck. Okay. And then... Now somebody else say something? Maybe? <laughs> Quickly. Uh, hi. <laughs> Stream is a weenie. Maybe it's emote related? Oh, you know what? I bet you it's emote related. Yeah, the emojis. Because uh, Noodle d had emotes in all three of her messages. Both times whenever she got the, the uh, thingy. So do, yeah, put emote in every message three times in a row. And then somebody break the combo. Now somebody say hi or, or something. There you go. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. 4X stream 6888. Man, I wish I could pick a better tag for that. Instead of the stream 688. But that's what Twitch assigned to me. I had no option there. I guess uh, there must be a lot of people with stream in the front of their their emote name. Or in their, their channel name. Yeah, if I could just have it be stream love, that would have been best. But I didn't have that option, sadly. That's cool. That's a neat little feature. I had no idea that was a thing that Streamlabs did, but it's neat. Alright, we are going to save, and then, I mean, I know it's like 15 minutes early. I'm sorry, I failed you all, but, uh, my head is pounding. I'm gonna lay down, get some food, and then lay down <laughs> before the D&D uh, &D game tonight. So, thank you so much, everybody, for being here. I hope you're enjoying Devil May Cry. I know, uh, besides the fact that it's on easy mode... <laughs> Uh, but no, jokes aside, I am having fun with it. And, uh, we'll be playing more of it, like I said, next Saturday, because that is now our completion game stream days. Um, so we'll be doing that. And, but tomorrow night, assuming that, uh, myself and Dorseman are able to, we'll be doing the Just One More podcast. So anybody who's available to join us for that, I appreciate seeing you there as well. And, uh... Thank you all for being here. I'll see you again next time. Good night, everyone. Racing is more exciting, too, right? Because with, with these games, you're racing on tracks. Although they're not, like, NASCAR tracks, at least, they're still, you know, track. With Need for Speed, you have, like, other cars that you're trying to dodge coming the other way. More varied tracks than, than even Need for Speed has. Or, I'm sorry, than what Gran Turismo has or whatever. So yeah, one of these days I do want to try out um shit, what's it called? The Forza games, the the Microsoft racing games. I do want to try those out someday because I've heard good things about them, but I, I they've never really captured my attention. But I've heard that, you know, they're they're really good as far as racing games go though. Just the racing aspect of it's really good. So I need to give them